Hello? What is even going on? It's not time for stream yet. What? Why is it so, it's so early? It's only 2.42 p.m. What? What's going on? This isn't how things are supposed to be. What? What the heck? What? What's going on? What? What the heck? Why is the music so spooky? There you go. <sighs> We're chill instead. Let's go to... This one, why not? Ahoy hoy. Welcome. Early stream today. I figured why not? I've just been... I've been to the hairdresser. I came home from the hairdresser and I figured, hey, instead of me just sitting around for like three hours and waiting for stream time, let's just start stream. Hmm? And then maybe new people who might not be able to make the later streams can drop by or whatever else. Um, hello, Lil. Yo, Lily of the sea. I was gonna say Lil Yo. <laughs> That's your nickname now. Lil Yo, the sea. Lily of the sea. Lil Yo, what's up, Lil Yo? You got your rap career going? Um, Psycho Kid as well, welcome. Nova Cobbler, enjoy your lurk, uh, Psycho Kid, by the way. Uh, and Jazz, and Trash Pandas, welcome. Elena, welcome also. Uh, the plan for today is to finish the graveyard that we've been sort of noodling away at. Uh, this one. Uh, so I figured instead of just waiting around, might as well work on it during the day and we'll see how long we'll go for instead and try out a little bit of an earlier stream schedule because I do want to stream earlier. Hello, Grim Wisp as well. Welcome to early streams. How are you? Uh, I was trying to... I was trying to... Oh. Ah, okay. So this scene, um, as 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 much credit as I want to give my computer for being able to handle a lot of polygons, this scene is getting very not easy to work with. So some of these things I think will have to be down resolutioned. The mausoleum is going to be really tricky to do that with, though. But I did it for the grave or for the, the coffins. So we're going to replace the coffins with a low resolution version with a high resolution texture. And I want to do the same for the tomb stones. Ah, that's the plan. How does this look? Oh, right. This is why I need to replace it with low resolution topology or geometry because it takes this long to preview the render every time because it has to think about all of the triangles and vertices oh good you're welcome surprise early stream yeah i got a little cheeky today uh i mentioned it last week oh yeah i was looking into stylizing it you know this looks pretty cool eh this type of lighting with this type of like sculpted effects you get a lot of like texture detail out of it when everything is like different colors and stuff i think it'll come together pretty pretty coolly um but we got to replace a bunch of stuff it's also not going to be this dark and also there's going to be line art and stuff that's all the stuff we do today so let's pause you and see if we can go about replacing some stuff Because it's this slow. <laughs> well, just woke up in sudden stream. <gasps> Poofle. Welcome also. Wait, so where, where, what time? I know that we have rules against time zone spam. I'm just curious. What time is it for people right now? Because some people, I don't know if America has done daylight savings yet. We did daylight savings 
like just now, just this Sunday. So we are an hour ahead again. But I don't know how it works for other people. Do, do. Yep. 3 p.m. for you. 3 p.m. for you. Almost 6 a.m. Almost about 9 p.m. 9 p.m. is more respectable. About noon. Okay. I, Trash Pandas, you should probably sleep more, though. Odyssey, you as well. 6.47 a.m. Anything before 7 a.m. I feel like should just be kind of illegal. <laughs> no? You can't get- you can't get up. You can't go up. Get up before 7? Ugh. Do, do, do. Bo, bo, bo. The UK is an hour yet. Yeah, hour, hour behind. US does it earlier, so they've had it? Oh, okay. So, so everyone is summertime? That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Anyway, check out this mess. Hold on. Hold on. No, everything takes time. Hold on. We have to fix this. This is bad. This is bad news. I'm a light goblin. <laughs> Don't sleep until closer to noon. Fair enough. I am usually a night goblin as well. I'm trying to make it less so, though. Oi! Okay, check this out. Ugh, I pressed another button. Hey, by the time this scene loads properly, it might be time for old streams to start anyway. Look at that! Look at this mess! Ugh! What is going on everywhere? Bad. Bad, bad, bad. This is why it's slowing everything down. I've already fixed it though. I just need to delete these two. <sighs> yeah, I, I feel like... It, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like some countries have already done away with daylight saving or it's been like up for debate or something. Wasn't there like, wasn't that like a thing? Didn't people do that? <laughs> They should. I, I mean, we should get rid of daylight savings, for sure. It's silly. It's a silly concept nowadays. We don't need the daylight hours to last longer just so that we can till the soil into the night time. Grr. It shouldn't exist anymore, yeah. I guess it's just... See, this is what I did. I, I down-resed it, so it, we go from this absolute nightmare mess to this. Ah. But we keep all of the same deets. Ayo! Very good. Have a ride from YouTube. Welcome, Grim Wisp. You are allowed to stay on YouTube if you want to. Uh, let's see. So, Coffin. Yeah, Coffin. Coffin High. We don't want to save that. Okay. So, we want to append Coffin. Gotcha. Gotcha. <gasps> Don't look at my YouTube search history. What if I've been looking at YouTube for boobs? Uh, append, coffin, collection, coffin. Eh? Oh. Oh. Ah, oh. Wait, why is it still slow? Eh? Why are you still all slow? Is it because of the mausoleum? It's not that bad, is it? Uh, mausoleum, where are you? What are you? You're this one. Eh? Oh? You know what I feel like we should probably do? Just for the sake of keeping things clean. New scene. Goodbye, graveyard. Okay. Append, coffin. Ah. Ah, ha, ha, so smooth. Very good. 
Do, do, do. I mean, the states, my states actually voted to get rid of it, but we still have it? Oh, wait. How does that work? Is it just because they like, they have to get rid of it on a federal scale as opposed to a non federal scale? Um, yeah, right. Okay, so cool. So, see. So, because this is now technically, this is the resolution of the coffin. It's like low res and bumpy and lumpy, but I exported a normal map of all of the details. So with the texture on, you get all of this stuff back, which is good. So let's do that for, let's save this as our uh, grave level. Yeah. Oh, I was also fiddling around with sketch 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 looks let me show you let me see if i have this oh yeah here i deleted it but it's still here i was messing around with getting things to look more sketchified that looks kind of cool i think you get some you get some hash for shadows and some like sketchy strokes around things. It's kind of fun. Uh, I like I like how the how Zizan turned out. That's a good like three D sketch look. Anyway. Uh, enough of that stuff. Let us leave. Let us leave. <laughs> okay, what else? The, the do do do. I don't know how to low polify the mausoleum. Do I have to? Can't we just do these ones? It's pretty sketchy. <laughs> it's quite sketchy now that now that I think about it. Yeah. Ugh. Ew. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think that this mess is complete? Um. I want to do this. I want to do this. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. So you take the high resolution. You take the low resolution. I need to confirm convert you into a homogeneous shape of squares or triangles. Um, okay, there are ways to do it. I just don't know them good. Like we could do a... We could do a decimate. That could work. It could, right? But like, doesn't that just make it so that it's like... Uh-oh. Yeah, it just, it kind of evenly. No. It kind of evenly unsubdivides things so that tight spaces are still tight spaces. Is this perfect? Do you like it? <laughs> Do you like my tombstone? It's maybe a little too simplified, but we'll work on it. Oh, yeah. There's a... Okay. I want to make sure that I can see when ads are about to start. Uh, let me put my ads manager here. Do, 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 do. There's a way you can, like, get, like, a little timeline for yourself of, like, when ads are about to start. I would like to have that viewable. Thank you very much. Oi! I said thank you very much. Do as I say, Twitch. I'll do. There you go. 
Yeah. Okay. Ad starts in 27 minutes and 40 seconds. Good to know. Ugh. What happened here? Disgusting. So let's not do that. Let's do this. You would like to speak to an ad manager? Wait, running two minutes manually will remove the upcoming auto ad. Okay. I believe you. <sighs> what about converting it to a m m m m volume? Should we just... Let me try this. Let me experiment. Let me try making it into a geometry node, turning it to a volume, and then back to polygons. Maybe that'll do. Yeah. Hello, Nolan and Jacqueline. Jack Jacqueline. Jack Jacqueline. Jacqueline. I like that spelling of that name, Jacqueline. I had a classmate who was pretty cool, who spelled it like that. It looks so fancy. Do, 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 do. All right, volume, we want to do mesh to volume, and then, oh, and then volume to mesh, volume to mesh. Hey, that's not too shabby. Ugh. From that ugh, to this. It's a bit of a bit of an improvement, eh? This mess to this mess? Actually, that's really good. <laughs> I did not think that this method would be this reliable. Whoa, it's all quads as well. How did it do that? Damn. Yeah, alright, I'll take it. Do, 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 do. So we do, um, no, we do this, we do, we apply that, there you go. Okay, here comes the thing that I don't really know how to do, but let's try it anyway. I think that I'm supposed to take this model and... And UV unwrap it. We'll do just smart UV so I don't have to do any work. <laughs> and then we take this and we say bake. Bake, we get baked. We want to get the normal map and we want to bake that onto this. Right. So we take you. No, we take you. And we give you a material. Normal! Oh. Normal. Okay. So we give you a material, and we give that material... I have to think through these steps, because I'm not sure how to do it. We give that material a texture. That is normal. And we make it a new texture. We make it like 4K. Yes. Then... Then... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Selected to active. We say selected to active. Go! I think it's doing it. If this one ends up good, we know that it works. If we fail, then we know that it doesn't. First time I can see a Blendstay stream? Blendstay streams have become a, a bit more of a nebulous, conceptual, just sort of work on whatever stuff I'm working on. I think, uh, just as an FYI, that future... FUTURE! Wait. Did it do it? Did you do it? Are you doing it? Did you do it? I, th 
I feel like you didn't do it. Did you do it? It totally didn't do it, did it? Okay. Something I did wasn't r right. <laughs> um, no, I want to do uh, silly movie edits, like shitpost edits. So I think uh, there will probably be some streams. Huh. Huh. What does that mean? Does that mean that it did it? Wait, smooth, smooth. Let's try that again. Select it to active, select it to active. Let's do an extrusion of like point 0 0.1. 0 0.01. I don't know what that means, but I'll do it. And then go. I did it for the coffin, but I don't remember how I did it. Do, 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 do. I just need to select some movie clips. Because when we were watching Lord of the Rings, I had so many like, oh, I want to edit that just for fun in this movie. I want to edit it so it looks like Gandalf is, eats the moth. Stuff like that. Um, what is happening here? So we might just do some silly editing streams as well for... <laughs> for for Wednesdays. Hmm. Normal. How did I do it on the coffin? Open coffin. Uh, no. Yeah, I did it on you. But how? Shader editor. Normal map to normal map. Oh! Wait a minute. Did I do it? I was just stupid secretly? Don't save. You to you. Why are you all like edgy? What's this? What's going on here? Why are you all like edgy? Huh? When I say you smooth, why you don't smooth? Something has happened, and I'm not quite sure what or why. Look at this weird stuff. Wait, are your... No. <gasps> oh, I see. No, no. Normal... Yeah, silly edit. Oops, silly editing fun. I think would be fun to do. <laughs> it, it's like short little snippet. No, the other one. It's like short little snippets of things, so it's like easy to like keep track of what's happening or what's going or why I'm doing what I'm doing. Or it's funny little silly things. It might work work well for stream. There, Set that to like point one. Okay, and then untitled, and then untitled, and then you to you, ba -ba -ba -boo, bake. I just need to get the clips, because otherwise we have to watch through all of the Lord of the Rings on stream as well so that I can get the clips that I need, and I don't think Twitch was going to like that. Or Peter Jackson. Or Reese, what's his face? Gimli. He didn't want to get... A... Yeah, that's not right. He didn't get a, a cast tattoo. Everyone else got a tattoo. Except for that guy. Freaking guy. Yeah, look, it's... So this is fine. The UV is fine. Oh! Oh, I'm stupid. Hold on. It's because of this. 
it has to be in the same location. Okay, uh, there, I think, to there, to, oh wait, so selected, selected, selected to active, bake, with one centimeter extrusion, yeah, go. No active image. What? What? This one. Selected. Selected. To active. Go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, they all got tattoos. Uh, like, um... The, the main cast from the Lord of the Rings movie, they all got a Lord of the Rings tattoo together to, like, commemorate their time together. Everyone except for Gimli. He didn't want to get tattoos. Boo. Come on, be part of the gang, bud. Aha! That's more like it. So then, but why is it like inverted? What is, what is going on with this? Look at this weird, hello? That doesn't seem right. Why does it do that? How did I do it last time? It's doing it. It's just doing it wrong. Zero. Visual transform. Yeah, Gimli was the only one that didn't get it. Apparently. Okay, let me let me just screw you. <laughs> screw that one. Let me do this. Because this works. This is what I did for the coffin, so this should work. It's just a little more work, because you have to... Uh, I did this, and then... So, basically, I just want to surround... Surround it with a rough shape and then shrink wrap it. This is sort of the manual approach. Oops. Do 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 bo 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 so we'll do like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, and then, th whoa, thickness-wise. So I did it sort of like that, and then I did sort of like this, and sort of like this, and sort of like this, and then I did, uh, then I did this, and I guess I could subdivide it, and then, <laughs> and then add a... No, no. Smooth. Smooth it. Right. So then I take this cage and I shrink wrap it. Shrink wrap. Shrink wrap. I shrink wrap it to the stone. Boop. So it like tries to conform itself as closely as possible to the underlying mesh. We can up some scales that okay then I apply then I apply okay this is my problem with shrink wrapping though it like it ends up looking it's it ends up doing this a bit a lot or it like stretches things weirdly unevenly 
and I don't know why. Do, 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 do. I want I wanna I wanna get more tattoos. I wanna improve upon my tattoos. I'm just too uh Honestly too lazy to do it. I never like I never like get get off my ass to book to schedule an appointments. Why why does it do that? Why doesn't it like project limit subdivision levels negative? Oh something happened. Okay, well it's worse. What the <laughs> I just want it to look nice and smooth and not be like a lumpy mess. Oh, well, that's a lumpy mess as well. How about this one? That's a lumpy mess. How about this one? It's still a lumpy mess, though. Hmm. Yeah. Finding a new place that you like and that you feel like you can trust is also definitely one of the harder parts. Yes. That's like... The trickiest thing is is to find a place that is both good in terms of what they offer and also that is like comfortable for you to go to as just a person because you have to get along with them and feel comfortable and and be on the same wavelength so that your tattoo turn out nice but then they also have to be really good at their jobs it's tricky can I just... no. Fine. Volume to mesh. Mesh to volume. I guess I'll do this again. This is the right way to do it, though. That That is what I want. This result is, like, perfect. I don't, I don't know how to... I don't know how to fix problems. Help. Uh, let's just say visual. Visual geometry to mesh. And then zero. That. Oh, it's smaller. How did it get smaller? Hmm. Oh, I see why. Okay, well, this matters not. Generate. We do this, this. Set the density to five. Ah. Well, four? Well, three? Well, two? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's not fine. 64 is fine. Grid amount. Oh. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe not. I mean, that's low resolution for sure. No, I like this. I'm going to say apply. How do we get all of this deet, all of these deets, onto this other little guy? There has to be a, 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 a way to do this easily. Smooth. Unwrap. Smart unwrap. Yes. There. UV map. Sorted. Good. Save. We put it back in its position. We could use a displacement to thick it up a bit. This place, displace. Ay, 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 too thick. 0 0.1. 
0 0.01. 0 0.012. Okay. There. Now what? Save. I have to I have to check it up. Check it up? I have to look it up. Trans no. Bake Bake high poly to low poly blender. Can you tell which one of these rocks is tell me model? today you will learn how to turn your high poly model with all the fancy details into a low poly great at the exactly same position this is really important they need to overlap and i will rename this to rock low obviously okay and now let's turn this from high amount of polygons to low so there are several ways how you can do it i will show you two we can add decimate modifier 30,000 faces all the way to 638 a Right. Now, what we need, we need two nodes, Shift A, and we need image texture. Okay, one node there, and Shift A, and we need. Oh, I know what and where I want. Node because I just. Bake a I'm just map. lazy to we go do it. The details from the high portion and then etc. to normal. Normal. And color to color. Okay, That's perfect. what I did. Now, Go here and create a new map. That's what I, will I did. Name it for normal, apply by high resolution. You have the most it is. Switch color space for SR from sRGB to. It's <gasps> important. So I didn't do that bit. The color space from sRGB to. Oh. 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 Uh, new material. Oh. Normal map. Okay, so the normal goes in the normal. Shocker. Image texture goes into color. You get the normal stuff. You become 4090, oops, 4096, 4096. Okay, good. Right, oh, non-color, fantastic. Then what do you do? You want to have non-color here. Perfect. And now we can add optional modifier if you want. For some examples, this is really useful. Here it's not too much, but I want to show you that you can try that. Shrink wrap modifier to wrap. No, I did that. Go you can apply it if you tap here. Go from Eevee to the night random. But we want to go to the bake here. Because right. Solution. There is another way how to show right. a different way. So let's go selected to active. And now we need to select this one and control and select low version. So select high version, high poly version, control and select low poly version. This is really important in order Get to, to the point! <laughs> high poly version. So this is the cage inside that cage. I know! 0.5 meters, same like cage, making extrusion. Okay. So this is it. And before we bake this, I want to go to the high poly version and right click or W and shade smooth. Also to low poly version, shade smooth in order to make create the neck on both. Select the high version, control here to the bake. Okay. Everything is set. Extrusion is set. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I mean, thank you for the tutorial, but also <laughs> I'm just you don't have to explain that you right click to open the menu when you're doing a, an intermediate tutorial. Okay. So we want to do, we want to have you, we want to have non-color, we want all that set. We also want to have selected, we want to set the cage. I think it's just the cage and the non-colored thing. I think that was the, mis the, the mishap. So, high resolution to low resolution, bake. Yeah, got one on my forearm, and everyone convinced me to do it facing because that's facing out because that's correct. Wish I got it facing in. That's the thing, right? I feel like it depends on the motif, but I when I got this one, 
she was like, okay, do you want it facing you or facing away? As in like, it's upside down when I look at it, but for anyone else. And I'm like, I, I, I want it to look right for anyone else. Because otherwise it looks weird. It looks upside down. So I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I want to have it in a way where if I look at myself, not like this, but in a mirror or in a photo, it's correct. And that's that's the, the basis for my orientation choosing. What looks better when I look at myself in the mirror, basically. I don't think there's any other right or wrong other than that. Uh, but hey, look! Ta-da! Wait. Ta-da! I did it! Ah, low resolution, but with all the deets. Sweets. Look at that. We went from... We went from... Uh... Can I see... Hey, How do I get, like, sidebar asset shelf? No. I want to see poly count. I guess I could go into here. Poly count? How do I see the poly count? Spreadsheet? Oh, I guess that works. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we went from, from 427,000 triangles to 5,000. 427 to 5. Worth it. So that's good. Uh, we can put this, say this is stone one low, and this is stone one high. Put that in a collection, call this Gravestone 1. Okay. It's tricky to decide though. Like I, I, uh, for this arm, I want to build out and have No Face and Isabel and Celeste and Toothless. And I think they're just going to be sort of a, a random collage mishmash style where they kind of fit together more important is more important where than where they're like facing because uh, it's just going to be sort of a omnidirectional collage. Uh, so I think that's also worth considering when it comes to like orientation if it's like is, is it going to be part of something bigger or are you adding to it because if you're doing that then it's probably less important if it's like exactly correct you know it get lost gets lost in the details do, 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 do. all right i'm gonna do Actually, I got- I bought a pack of sculpting brushes, so before I make this moss part of the low-resolution stone, let's sculpt it a little bit. Uh, let's see, stone high... Stone high! Where you go to learn all about the weed. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I did start early today, because why not? Because I, I wanted to. I wanted to not just sit around and wait for stream to start. So I'm testing out an earlier... ...sketch. Okay. And it might be even earlier than this in the future. I started like at 2.30 today. I'm thinking, you know, starting more around like... 
10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Which is pretty nuts, but we'll see. Hello? Hey, you know what? My tablet isn't working, and you know why? I'm plugged in. I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. Problem solved. All right, so sculpting. Let's see, sculpting. Uh, let's go here. I got a brush. Damn it. It's not loaded. Oops. Okay, fine. <sighs> Where did I put my brushes? I put them in brush. Kinda, yeah. Do, 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 do. Uh, actually, no. I put them in X Blender add ons, brushes, brushes, stylized brushes, brushes. Ah, look at all these cool brushes for sculpting. Sculpting screws and sculpting buttons and sculpting cracks and crevices. Uh, what do I need? Oh, some like leaves. Yeah, like these ones. Uh, these are scales technically, but they work as leaves, I think. Let's get this one. And maybe we could do some like roughening up of the stone itself. Do, 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 do. Give it some like stony surface. <sighs> Let's see some chips. Oh no, I d selected a billion things. Okay, wait, that one. Plus chips and cracks. This one, some like holes and stuff is pretty good. Missing bits. I just want to get these things into the scene so that I can then start actually doing like textures and colors and lights and stuff. Make it look nice as well. Yeah, get some of this general rock as well. A pendant. General rock. Because then I should be able to just do Dino Topo and do this. Oh, okay. Hey, Dino Topo seems to like randomly not work. This is something that is anyone else using Blender and can attest to this? Six. Okay. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I, it's so bad. <laughs> Why is it bad? Relative detail, constant detail. We'll set that to 128. Fill. Okay. Better. See, because now I can just paint on leaves. Just like in like, see? Just like in like a Photoshop with the Photoshop brush or something. And yeah, it's not going to be perfect, but it doesn't really matter as long as there's like some going on. It'll be pretty good, I think. It'll work. Do, 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 do. Just give it a bit of texture. Cool. Make it look less like boogers <laughs> and more like leaves. Or moss or something. Cool. Cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, dragons are just made out of bushes. <laughs> Turns out. That's why they don't want you to know. That's why they use fire. Because they they don't they want people to think, you know, they're immune to fire. So they use it as a as a conspiracy to convince people that they're fire resistant when they're actually super flammable because they're made out of bushes. It's a plot to hide the true weakness. It did look a little boogery. It looks better now, though. There. Ew. There. Save. We take the booger layer and we will... Let's do freeze transforms, duplicate. Uh, what do I want to do? Oh, I want to geometry nodes it into. Can I use the same geometry nodes setup? Do, do, does it save those? Let's see. Geometry nodes, geometry nodes, geometry nodes. Boom. Hey, it does save it. Fantastic. So now I just have like a tool to turn things into other things. Pretty good. Uh, although also pretty bad. Better. We're losing out on some of the thinner tendrils. Yeah, that'll do. Well, will it though? 256. Oh, it's getting kind of high res. <laughs> what about two hundred? Okay, I think I can live with that. It's a little poo-poo looking, but I'll take it. Apply, smooth, uh, turn that off. And then we want to take our journey on the road. No. Save. We want to take our high resolution moss. High resolution moss. Hi. We want to take our high resolution moss. And we want to apply it to the low resolution moss. Easy. Smart UV. Yes. I'm so glad that you don't have to UV unwrap everything manually anymore. It was the f boringest thing in the whole wide world forever. And now you can just sort of lazily do it with a click and just, as long as you're not doing anything too specific, it's fine. All right, so for this one, let's go normal. Blech. Hold on a minute. I don't think that the picture that I that I so brilliantly managed to do is actually saved. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Oh no! It's all ruined! No! No! That's one of the tricky things with Blender as well. It doesn't actually save the images when you save the scene. Uh, but that's okay. We can do this. This this is good because now I get to practice it. So we take the high resolution to the low resolution. And we say... Bake. Bake. I could just save this scene with all of these settings. I can just put anything in here that I want to de-res. Hello, Seep. Welcome. We did a cheeky stream. Cheeky early stream. 
Well, technically, it's only early for another 24 minutes. And then we catch, then we've caught up. There. Now I'm going to make sure to save this as... This will be the... Grave one normal. Do 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 do. Good. And then moss. So I want to take the high resolution moss and I want to slap it onto this one. Do do. Yeah, because now this one is saved anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I will say untitled. Untitled, play. I will say take that, you punk, and I will select. <laughs> I will select the high resolution, then the low resolution, then I bake. No valid selected object. Sorry. I'll do better. There you go. In the meantime, I'm doing some dime. Diamond painting Christmas cards. Wait a minute. It's April 3rd. Christmas cards? Christmas cards? What's this? What's this? There's something in the air. What's this? What's this? Christmas card? What's this? What's this? There's something in your hair. What's this? What's this? Whoa! Uh. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Well. Ooh. Uh. Well. Ooh. Hey, that's not. That's not great. Ooh. Okay, so maybe for this one, the UB mapping that I so gladly touted as being easy peasy maybe it isn't so easy peasy because that's poo poo all right let's try again everything oops 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 everything unwrap pack each faces uv bonds into the uv bounds what yeah, okay what does that mean Ah! Uh, oh, I see! Whoa! Every surface, <laughs> every face is its own little square. That doesn't seem good. What happens if I do that? What happens if I use, <laughs> use that? Whoa, look, we're turning into Qbert. Boop, 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 boop. I wonder. Let's take high res, low res, bake. Christmas Christmas is starting earlier and earlier. Hey, at least with nine months ahead of time, if you're if you're that early, you can get last year's Christmas presents on clearance, and then. Use them next this Christmas. This Christmas. That doesn't feel right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's not the greatest uh solution, I think. What is this texture? <laughs> it's awful. What a mess. No, let's never do that again, but let's do a little less of a cage and then take, let's see, this one, do, 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 smart, uh, yes, I wonder, can I like unwrap each bit by itself, like if I do this and then you, smart, Oh! Oh. Well. Oh, that could work. Do, 
Smart. Yes, this one. This one. Oh. These ones. Smart. Yes. And then we take them all. We select all. Is there a way to like... Like stack them? Straighten, snap, unpin, pin. Is there a way to like... Fix... Fix everything? <laughs> Pack. Hey! Uh... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll trust you. So, high resolution, low resolution, bake. Do -do, do -do. Yeah? When you have about 30 people, you have to send Christmas card, and three have to go to Australia. <laughs> I've, I've, I've... I was trying to think what's the longest thing I've sent. I can't even think. I don't know. All I know is it takes... It, it takes anywhere between a week and six months to order something from China. <laughs> that's, that's the only experience in long distance shipping that I have. Huh. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to do five after all. I'm not quite sure how this works, uh, with, with baking. I never used to do this bit, because I find it kind of boring when you just, like, set up a bunch of settings and then you just wait. You could have a little cheeky pee. Nah, not yet. That's still bad? Why? <laughs> Why? Okay. Uh, huh? Eh? What's the what? Wait, pack. Are they overlapping? Don't overlap. Blay. Tongue. Blay. Blay? Play. Blay. Okay, this is confusing and weird. Smart UV project, yes. 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 I just need them to not overlap. How to do? Let's do this. This. This, this, and this. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, crap. Okay, how do we make these good? I guess I'll just do this. Uh-oh. Uh, 
I'm not making boogers. I'm making moss. I swear. It's the truth. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to bake moss in a way that makes it look good. And it's tricky because I don't want to actually UV unwrap it and model it well. So instead we're stuck trying to figure out how to automate it. Why that one? Select. Okay. Oh. There. All right, fine, whatever. So if I just put this in here, at least everything is unwrapped. Everything is separate. This should be fine. It's just the resolution is gonna suffer, but that's okay. Okay. Save this one, that one, that one. Oh, wait, that one, that one. Bake. <sighs> do, 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 do. But also, Fidi, thank you for the 54 months. Welcome back. Welcome to early streams. bit that bothers me uh if this doesn't work then screw it then i'll just figure something else out <laughs> use the high resolution it's fine oh wait wait just a gosh darn so close yeah this it's like it kind of worked but then this happens It's all of this. It's all of this, like, weird overlap and stuff. I was hoping to avoid that when I bake it, because it's, like... Oh, this kind of worked. Why does it kind of work? Maybe it's just... Okay, one more try. Maybe it's just the cage. I'm gonna try a thing. So if I take this whole thing, right? I duplicate it. I take away the material. I thicken it. So deform, displace. And I say 0.1. I'm gonna use this as like the indicator for That could work because you can use the, you can do like a cage it's so like anything within anything inside of this cage will be calculated and now all of this stuff is inside of its itself <laughs> hopefully that works so we want to cage this then we want to take high resolution to low resolution the cage is fine Go. Last try. Yeah, I don't know this stuff either. I'm just trying to I'm trying to to figure out a way to put high resolution detail onto low resolution objects in a reliable manner without having to 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 manually do everything. doesn't seem to have worked. Not quite. No. Still not sure why this happens even. What what could contribute? All transforms. All transforms. Is it the No. 
Huh. Gotta go to work. See you later, Jacqueline. Farewell. 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 Okay, I'll try one more time. But I'm gonna set the extrusion to... One meter? Okay, you know what? Maybe two more times. Bake. I want to see if if this works better or worse. Then I know how to compensate. Uh, but if neither works, then give up. What I could do is just make a bunch of little puffs of grass and vines and then just... Yeah, it didn't work. I can make a little puffs of grass and vines and then just save them separately and then I can just use them to populate my graveyard afterwards. So I'll try... I'll, I'll let this one think it through. If this works, then great. If not, then... working oh it did not <laughs> goodbye moss all right anyway so we have this which is fantastic uh and we have the images saved good i think i can do a thing called cleanup and then just delete everything that isn't used Purging unused data blocks. Yeah. There. Aww. When you clean up a scene and you remove everything that isn't used, it's called or they're called orphans. There. No, the texture is still there. What? I thought it cleared everything that wasn't used. Clean up. Unused local data blocks. No orphans detected. Clean up. Recursive? Okay. Clean up. I don't want to clean up all. Clean up recursive? No orphans detected! No orphans to purge. Okay. I guess all the orphans have been purged. Oh yeah, they have. Okay, perfect. Save. So now we have this tombstone with this amount of polygons, but still detail. Great. Cool. It's so weird to see like, you can clearly see that there's a bunch of detail here. And then you look at the polygons. Huh? Save. Let's do the same with the other one. Uh, open recent tombstone two. Rip orphans. I made a bunch of things orphans and then I purged the orphans. Yes. This is what I've done and I am proud. Okay, so you... Geometry nodes, new, we do mesh to volume, boop, and volume to mesh, set this to 10, 128, uh, 0 0.01, eww, and we have a ghost version. A ghost version of the tombstone that I then convert back into a mesh. Boop. Taking our. Taking our. 600,000 polygons to. 15,000. Better. 
do, 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 do. Uh, all right, let's see. It might be a little bulky. Oh, whoops. Might be a little bulky. Are you too bulky? How about five? How about one? Cool. Uh, and then we smooth. And then we smooth. Oh. And then we smooth. This is the only issue with using geometry nodes and volumes. You get this like stepped, this stepped look because everything is voxels. Everything is blocks. <gasps> when you voxelize something Voxels are 3D pixels, like Minecraft. That's what a voxel is. So when you make something into clouds or fire or smoke or whatever you're making it into, it becomes voxels. See here? This is how smoke in 3D stuff works. So if I set this to a low amount, 32. See how these, see all these corners? That's a voxel each. Big voxels. Big voxels make fast, but ugly. Small voxels, higher resolution, make better, but slower. That's the trade-off of 3D smoke. Or volumes, I guess. Um... Too much, maybe. Let's say 128 and 2. 1? Too much. Do, do. Okay, good visual to mesh. Good. Okay, now comes the part again that we have to remember how to do. So I'm gonna smooth this. Then I'm gonna select it all and unwrap it smartly. Which gives us a very smart UV unwrap. Okay, great. Now that it's so smart. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do do 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 I will take, I will take this smart thing that I have done. Whoa, chocolate. I will take my smart thing and do something. <laughs> what will I do with it? I'm not super confident in my methods yet. But, but, okay, wait, so this one needs a material. The material needs a normal map. Normal map. The normal map needs to be plugged in, and it needs a texture. The texture needs to be, let's say, 4, 4K. 40, aye! 4096, 4096, okay. Then, that's done. Then I take you, and you, and I go bake, I say bake, normal, I say selection to active, I say cage, zero point five. Normal, clear, selected to active, selected to active, image, untitled, go. Do, 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 do. do we have a set schedule for early streams? Not yet. Today is an early stream purely because I was back from the hairdresser and rather than waiting around, I figured let's just start streaming. But also, as a test for streaming earlier, uh, and just, you know, see if see who shows up, if people shows up. There's an ad starting in three minutes. And uh, also... We will have a schedule. It's just I haven't decided yet. No, I failed again. I forgot to move it back to its position. There you go. This one to this one. 
And go. But hopefully streams start sooner, um, sooner rather than later, <laughs> because I want to get into a rhythm of getting up earlier in the day. And by earlier, I mean before noon. And if I have to stream, have to stream, then I'll force myself out of bed, which is good. Forgot to change. Why can't I change this now? Me? Eh? Eh. New. Go. Non color. Now do it again. This one. This one to this one. Bake. It's a good plan. <laughs> I think so. I think. Like, I don't have an issue getting out of bed. I don't... I don't, uh... have to set 40 alarms just to get out of bed. If I have something to get out of bed for, then I get out of bed. Um, I rarely, like, oversleep if I have something to do. But if I don't have anything to do, then it gets a lot harder for myself to force myself out, because the only person that suffers is me. <laughs> Why uh, does this not work again? I really feel like I did everything right this time. I did. No. But what? How is it wrong and right? But looks wrong. What? Hold on. Cylinder. I'll take I'll take this one. I'll put it here. This doesn't feel right. That's fine. That's fine. This one. This is fine. Phrase transforms. Put this one onto this one. Oh. There. Selected to active. Bake. Bake for multi. No. Normal map. Cage. Let's bring that down. Tangent, select to active, go. Ha! Huh. Do 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 Just sit and watch YouTube until I'm needed for something. Yeah, kind of the same. Kind of, kind of same for me. Whenever I have something coming up later in the day, Kind of no matter what it is, I tend to just sit around all day watching YouTube or something or play play some game because it's not worth spending time on anything else when in actuality it is. It just for some reason it it feels like it's just ah. There's no use in starting anything because I'm going to do other stuff later anyway. Hey, why isn't this working, though? Why is it, like, kind of working? <sighs> oh, 
Oh wait, actually, you know what? Let's try a, a mixture of techniques here then. So I will select some edges and I will mark them as scenes. Do, do, do. Can I just like... Oh! 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 Oh hey! It's almost a really good edge. Oh crap. No, that's okay. You mark seam, uh, and then I'll seam like here. Do, 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 do. Seam, 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 seam. Seam. So these seams are like where the 3D, oops, clear. These, these lines, these red lines, are like where the 3D object will be unwrapped, like a, like a, like a pl pla plaid, like a rug made out of a bear. These are the se cutting seams for the pattern. Uh, I just need to find good places for them, I guess. And hopefully this solves some of the mess. Because for some reason, this isn't really working out. Do, do, do. Uh, seam. Yeah, I'll just seam it up a little bit. I guess this one is pointless. Hey, does anyone know the shortcut for, like, selecting a range of edges? Not the whole loop, like that, but, like, from here to there. Do, 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 do. Like, if I want to select from here to here, but not, like, the whole thing, Long time lurker, several years. Want to let you know that today's an overwhelming day and the voice is very much helping you not panic. <gasps> well, Miss Kaleidoscope, I hope today, today calms down a little bit. Cause gosh, that sounds like too much stuff for your, for, to keep in your brain. If I can provide a bit of distraction, then I will gladly do so. Do you wish us to talk about something extra distracting? Like butts? Or onion soup? We could talk about onion soup. What is on French onion soup? How can that be tasty? Isn't it just wet onion? What else is in a French onion soup other than wet onion? Because wet onion in a bowl doesn't seem that appetizing to me. Maybe I'm not caught up on my French onion soup lore. Do, do, do. Click first, hold shift, click last. Yeah, I thought so too, but that only selects both of them. Which is weird, because so does control. Yeah, so in every other program, holding down shift selects a range, but holding down control selects only two things. In this program, shift selects only two things, but holding down control selects a range. Why they flip it? Blender. Why I oughta? All right, everything. Oops, select everything, unwrap, unwrap. I did figure it out though. Right. Um, okay. So that's bad. Hmm. Maybe there's a way to do this better. Smart UV project. Smart UV project doesn't do seams, right? 
No. Smart UV project does not care about seams. So it has to be an unwrap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Follow active quads? No active face. My face is not active? Dip. Okay. Can I make this? Now that's the active face. Now follow the active face. Go. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wait, what do you mean follow active quad? Oh, for only that island. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh. Well. No. Ugh. See, this is why. <laughs> I don't like UV unwrapping. I just want the things to be flat and square. Why are they not flat and square? How do I make them flat and square? I know there is a plugin that makes them flat and square. Maybe I should get that plugin that makes them flat and square. Smooth. Uh oh. What happened? I clicked a button that says smooth. Nothing happened. You took all that time and you did nothing? Get out of here, smooth. Okay, let me just save. <laughs> what is this plugin? Blender uh, UV Quad plugin? UV squares. That's the one. That's the one I want. Problem is, it's twenty dollars. I mean, I guess I could get it. Look, it does this. It takes the spaghetti mess and just makes them into squares. But it's twenty dollars. It's a expensive plugin just to get squares. Like, do I really want squares that much? <laughs> but what else can I do? I guess I could just leave it like this. It's bad, but like, I think it works. We could try it. All right, screw it. Let's try this before we spend money on plugins. Whoops. Whoops. G. G. So that's the tippy top. This is the sides. The brushes that I bought, like the leaves and the cracks and the rocks and all of that stuff, I also bought those and those were like 30 bucks. But that was 500 brushes. Which is like super good. Five hundred stylized brushes. So that seemed worth. The UV plugin. <sighs> Maybe. I mean, it would be nice to not have to do this mess. <laughs> That's fun. I make a little Mickey Mouse. Why do some people say it Mickey Mouse? Isn't it Mickey Mouse? It's like a weird inflection. Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is a little mini. Yeah, it's Mickey Mouse, not Mickey Mouse. You don't emphasize the Mickey part. Do, do. Do, 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 do. I think actually everything else is fairly fine here, except for these two wonky pieces, but maybe we can live with it. 
do 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 unless what if I like select you and then I select the rest and then I say follow active <gasps> well still not great merge by distance oh no uh oh Okay, we're good. <laughs> are they merged now? So now, if I select follow active, are they merged? No, why are they? Why, look, why do they split out into little strips and holes? Like, keep this shape, but... But... But straighten. Align. <gasps> yeah. Why are you up there now? It. <laughs> it's probably fine. So let's put these two here. Scale them up a little bit, maybe. Give them some space. Sure. Let's try that. Save. Okay. And now we take the cylinder. And we take the tombstone, high resolution tombstone, to low resolution tombstone. We have a non color 4K image. We say cage, 30 centimeters, select it active, clear the image first, bake. Do, 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 do. Mickey Mouse. And then it's, it's Super Mario, not Mario. Mario? Mario? Mario. Mario? Super Mario? Oi! Why are you still all... Wait! It didn't do it! Hey, now you're an all-star? Get your game on? Go play? Yeah, he doesn't say it's a me, Mario. It's a me, Mario. Hey, wh why though? Why is it not working? It's it's here. It's it's here. Wait a minute. No. It's... It's here. Oh! I had it plugged into the wrong output, input. That was my I was stupid. That was my bad. Let's do that again. And one, two, three bake. Yeah. The one that gets me is, is Yoshi. Apparently I've already said it wrong. Yeah. How? How do you say it? Yoshi Yoshi? Yoshi? It's Yo, yes? Well, in, that depends as well, though. Kind of. It depends on our, if you want to say it in English or in Japanese. I feel like English is Yoshi. More so. Uh, yo Yoshi. 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 Yashi. Yashi is more Japanese. I think Yashi is technically correct. But in English, I feel like most people say Yoshi. Yoshi. Etc. Okay, so something is still bad. Yeah, say it with a long O. Yoshi, Yoshi. Yeah, I think I think that's the most common English pronunciation, isn't it? Yoshi, rather than Yashi. But Yashi is probably more Japanese. Yashi. Okay, so this is bad, but it did work. It just worked 
poorly. I wonder if we could just do a smaller extrusion and then it works better. Let's do that. Let's do that. How, what's the, what's our distances here? Actually, let me just measure, mesh, cube. So that's one. Scale, that's one. That's, so 0 0.1 is that amount. What the? Eh? <laughs> 0 0.1 okay that's the size we are extrude so when i'm when i'm baking this i'm setting it to extrude 0 0.1 meter so it'll add this amount around all of it i feel like that's too much 0 0.05 0 0.05 That should be enough. I don't think there's any point in this model that's like deeper than five centimeters. No, it should be fine. It should be, it should be fine. The only thing is I think some of these UV islands are probably flipped, like mirrored. And how do I know? I don't. How do I check? I don't know. Uh, is there a way? I guess I could do this. Okay, so let's say this one. Aha! So that is correct. That is... Correct. This is incorrect. Do do mirror Y. Now it should be nope. <laughs> okay, great. Mirror X. Good. How about this one? That's correct. But this one. Sure. How about this one? Correct. Correct. Okay. Everything is correct. We should be good. Save. And high resolution to low resolution. Bake. So once I've done this for this one as well, we can start actually building the scene. Yeah, once I've, once I've figured out the workflow for this, like what the actual settings do, rather than trial and error, I should be able, I, actually, what should probably be, what would probably be best is to just save all of these settings in a scene, a new scene, and then anything that I want to do this process to, I can just put in that scene, do this, and then all of the settings are already there. And then export. Oh, perfect. So now... That's totally good enough. We have all of the lumpy little cracks and crevices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have all of the sharp corners. Yeah. I wonder, can I use... Can you use a normal map as a displacement? Displacement. Is that allowed? Normal to displacement. And then... Settings, bump, displacement, and bump, displacement, and bump. Okay. It's not doing anything. Why is it not doing anything? We know what? Hey, you have a displacement map on you. Why do. Oh. 
You're supposed to do stuff then. Hi? Eh? Oh, oh wait. Duh. Uh, let's see, so set this to height. And then, no? I'm so confused. It's, oh, oh, right. Do, do, do. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, right, of course. So this is the thing. Oh. No. <laughs> this would work better if I had a higher resolution model. Because then you wouldn't see all of these polygons. Get out of here, this thing. I'm going to use this thing. Save. I guess it doesn't have to be pink. There. Perfect. Save. Don't forget to save this. Save as. This is grave 2. Save. Save. Should actually never mind. Okay, now we go grave level. Open. Open the mouse. Chosen one. And we can. I wish there was a way. I think there is a way, but I don't know how the way works. Uh there's a way that you can like add stuff into a scene and then if you ever update the original file it will update in your scene as well but i don't know how to do that so i'm not gonna bother gravestone one boop do 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 perfect perfect gravestone coffin oh whoops i didn't actually save this do, do, do. So this is gravestone two high. Oops. High resolution. Gravestone. Ravestone. Gravestone two. Low. Gravestone two. Save. Dum, 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 dum. Hello? Hello, Rini. Hello, Rini. Welcome to welcome to the graveyard. <laughs> the graveyard shift. Funnily enough, the graveyard shift starts way earlier in the day than you'd think. But here we are. We're doing grave stuff. Collection, no. Collection, gravestone, boom. Okay. Fantastic. We have our little bits and bobs. We could do this just for the sake of having something to look at. Cool. I don't know why this is happening still. <clears throat> why like... Look, it's like randomly shiny. Why is there still a seam? Don't get that bit. There's no seam on this one. Something is wonky here. Me, 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 me. Yeah, look. What? What's happening here? Nah, whatever. I'll fix it later. Doesn't really matter uh, as long as the detail is there. Because it's all going to be cartoonified anyway. Uh, so, yes. Let's see about making... So, for the level proper... There needs to be foreground, middle ground, background, and backdrop. And I want them all to loop, but I want them to loop at different interval. So I think what's easier to do is to do a set first that is loopable, but then animate a camera over a different number of frames going across 
so that I have a loop that's like a hundred, 500 frames and one loop that's like 600 frames and one loop 700 frames because then they will all slightly offset and it will feel like they never loop. So it's not like the same level screen that comes back over and over again because then it's boring. Could even make section. No, let's not make it too complicated. I was gonna say I could make sections. So I have like one loop with like three to tombstones, and then right where that loop ends, another loop with different tombstones begins. So then you get different loops, but that's for later. <laughs> All right. Camera. Boom. Because ultimately all of this is for the level for the game that I hope to make at some point. Let's see. Set that to there. Height can be 1.5. Cool. Okay. Let's build a little stage then because this is all going to be like a set, like a like a stage play. This could be the bushes. So let's make this into bushes. Like cut out bushes. Let's just think a little bit in paint. Here's what I'm thinking, right? We have one layer. We have one layer of background. So we say this is the background. That's just its own separate layer. But then in front of that, we have middle ground bushes uh, and trees. And then in front of that, so that's backdrop, background. In the middle ground, we have other bushes, smaller bushes, and also the tombstones, and also the mausoleum. And then we have a path. And then in the foreground, we have more tombstones. Perfect. And maybe like a bush or two. Yeah. That'll make... Yeah? <laughs> it's bushes and trees. I don't know what you're talking about. It's just bushes and normal bushes and trees. This one is a little thin, though. Uh, <laughs> there. Couple of tombstones, couple of bushes, couple of trees. This one has like a perfect. Okay. That'll make one, two, three, four layers. Yeah, four layers. So one layer, two, three, four. And one of them is foreground, one of them is middle ground, one of them is background, one of them is backdrop. This is backdrop. This is background. Mm. So, let's do a bloop, 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 bloop. Cool. Nature is just like a penis in some way, you know? Very true. That still holds true. Fact check. Yes. Do, 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 do. Huh. 
Huh. How am I gonna make this look not bad? Okay, we could do this. We could do this. And, oops, oops, oops. And this. Do, 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 do. Huh. I didn't think this through. <laughs> I just kind of started doing. But we'll see where it takes us. Merch? Merch? Merch mansion? Okay. And then there could be another one here and here. Did you see, by the way, did you see Discord is now rumored there's been a, there's been a leak. Well, I say a leak. There's been an internal source saying that Discord will be starting with game ads in their chat client so if you wanted to know more about new video games don't worry they might just be putting that straight into discord and then you'll get ads when you're just trying to have a conversation won't that be nice i'm sorry you can't send this message until this ad has played yeah i really hope they don't because that would be so sad. <laughs> what what what's bad about this? Most things. Let's see. X point five. There. I don't know. It, I, I feel like, I mean, I get that they need to make money as a company, but I also feel like maybe if they stopped adding all of this weird stuff that no one wants, like the, the game stuff and the animated avatars and portrait pictures and like all of this kind of pointless stuff, maybe it wouldn't cost as much to run Discord as a chat platform. You don't have to grow and be like the next Steam. Because look what happened to Skype. They completely just died out because everyone got fed up with the constant ads. Don't become Skype. Please, just don't be Skype. I don't get why they need to make a bunch of money uh, suddenly. Like why they would need to make so much more money suddenly than what they presumably have been doing since since their inception. I don't think it should let negatively impact your users though, Discord. I'm sorry. Yeah, just what you've always wanted. I assume most people do want more ads in their life, yeah. It's the funnest part. It's the funnest part about doing anything. What kind of ads am I gonna get today? Without ads, we would never find out about anything, right? We would never uh, know that there was such a thing as Amazon Prime or Audible. or square Squarespace or Brilliant or Nebula or Raid Shadow Legends or
uh, or scent bird or that weird loot crate where you get wine like shitty shitty wine that everyone hates good there and there so now that one can loop from there to there More ads for the people, I say. I do feel kind of bad, though, for people who work with advertising graphics. Because I've been there. I've been there. It's not fun. <laughs> like, this, the poor people who have to make the ads aren't the people who also profit from the ads necessarily because it's probably just some poor 3d artist or some poor digital artist in general that has to sit there and make the ads and they just know that what they're spending their time on is going to be mostly hated and skipped and avoided at all costs yet you have to make a good ad poor ad people no not poor advertisers but poor ad artists Yeah? Someone getting told make that shirt look more like this. How come the shirt looks bad? Kind of, yeah. Kind of, kind of. Well, actually, one weird thing that advertisers, advertisers always want, both when I worked at the Taylor place and also when I worked for Sean and did sponsored videos, advertisers, advertisers really care about and want to hide or highlight things that literally no one else cares about. You know, like you're not allowed to show this or say this or call this that because that goes against our brand. Literally no one cares. Shut up. <laughs> Just let us make a cool video or a cool ad and that will sell way more than whatever weird scripted stuff you got written down. It's like, oh, what was it? It was... Oh yeah! It was uh, a long time ago. I edited a Genshin Impact video as a sponsored, uh, as a sponsored deal. They did not approve of calling the elements by the name of the element. You had to use the in-game. Like, you can't say fire. You had to say igni or whatever it's called. You can't say plant. It has to be dendro. Like, no one cares. But that was an important, uh, important aspect, apparently gotta hammer home the brand recognition of calling plant dendro it's the most important aspect like brand recognition sure but it's still your game your characters no one is gonna call it not fire people are gonna say fire and water people aren't gonna say dendro and Igni and whatever else. <gasps> Just go with it. Okay, it's getting a little too big one, small one, big one, small one, big one, small one, big one, small one. Although maybe that's good because they're not the same big one, small ones. Mm. <laughs> Maybe we could do this. Dissolve. Bevel. Take these ones. Scooch.
Do 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 do. And also, oh, what the, there was some other game. I don't remember which one it was. It was a game that wasn't. It wasn't fully released yet. It was like one of those videos where it's like, oh, this goes up like on release date or whatever. Um, so they would they would have some notes on what would be allowed to be shown in the Let's Play video. Uh, and there was like things like don't show the menu because it's not complete. It's like, OK, just just say that then. Why do we have to edit out any any instance of the menu just because it's not done? Just say work in progress and then that's it. <laughs> but nope, it's very important that we don't show anyone this trade secret this is it's just a menu no one cares and when you have to do a bunch of stuff like that instead of just focusing on making a good video or a good content then obviously the content suffers and it just makes the whole product look kind of boringer at least to me Okay, better. Save. Do 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 do. Yeah. And then you have the companies that just give you a game early access. Yeah, and when they just be like, when when game companies or anyone are just like, here we have this project that we think you and your community would like. Would you want to try it? That's it. No strings. Those are kind of the only sponsored deals that I would feel comfortable with, I think. Where it's like you get you get a game or you get the product and then you can say or do whatever you will with that information. If you like the product, then you talk nicely about it. And if you don't, then you don't. I don't want someone to put words in my ass. Do 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 Cool. Uh yeah, sure, I'll go with that. That works. Cause then I'm gonna I wanna paint bushes onto this so that it it's not gonna just be a green blah blah blob. Blah blah blah. Okay. Uh solidify? Solidify. Chunk. Chunk. Good. Solidify and then. Da, 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 boolean. No, no, no. Bevel. Are we doing it? Am I doing it? Oh, can you not bevel a solidify modifier? Oh, man. What? Say what? Say what? What? Toads, what? What? Wait, really? Well, it's doing something. And then it stops. Why does it stop? I, know, I feel like most people who work in advertise, like most people who work in advertising who decide things when it comes to ads are just kind of old suit suit guys who have no clue what normal people are like. Again, I'm basing this mostly off of my time uh, at the my time at the Taylor place, but most of the time, it seems as though most of the people who work in most of the businesses have very little clue <laughs> about things in general. Hey, uh, why is it not doing what I wanted to do? Oh, I did it. Yeah, but now... Is it... 
Oh, it was the scale. I was stupid. I like how in Blender, most of the time when something isn't going correctly, it's because I've been stupid. Like if you use Blender personally, and something isn't going the way you think it, or you expected it to, or you wanted it to, it probably is because I'm stupid. So you, you feel free to blame uh, me. There you go. Now it's more like a sheet. Good sheet. Wait. Eh? Bevel. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? What is happening? So I bevel this. Bevel. Oh, that's why it won't bevel anymore, because they meet, of course. Okay, well, that's fine. Do 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 do. Oh. Oh. I don't really trust... I don't really trust things to do things. <laughs> I don't know if I like this beveling option. I guess it's fine. Maybe I should do... this. Oh! Well, well, no. Well, it's kind of fun. Makes for some weird shapes. Yeah. I mean, actually, it's not bad. Why is it doing that? What is with these weird cord? Oh, because they get beveled. Yeah. If only the artist and the actual devs and such got to make all the decisions wouldn't that i i really wonder i feel like if if the developers or the the like the artists in question were in charge of more decision making i feel like we would have more games like baldur's gate 3 there would be more games made with passion like genuine passion for the games and not for the monies which I think would benefit most people. Alas. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Fine. Fine. 90? Well, that doesn't work good. Fine. 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 See, I don't want this corner to be beveled, but I can't make it not so. 45. Look, it's going to be like, ugh. Maybe I can do it. Maybe I can fix it manually. No, I can't. Blech. Fine. Unacceptable. Unacceptable conditions. Unacceptable. Why? Uh, fine, I'll do this. Fine. Fine. Stupid. Blender. Stupid. Fine. I'll do it manually. <laughs> Where? No, it's okay. I'm over it. Let's see. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. No, this one, 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 this one. What was even more annoying at the Taylor place was that. Cause we had like, we had a, like a, there was a dude, there was a dude that did the advertising or handled 
like decided what all of the ads were supposed to be uh, and how they should look and all that stuff and then the artists aka me we were basically just kind of their their hands their mouthpieces they said the stuff they dictated the stuff and we just kind of did the stuff we were kind of like chat gpt but made out of flesh um but what's the most infuriating aspect is that the advertising people are often the most handsomely paid at least it was at that company the guy who decided what advertisement campaigns we were supposed to run made literally twice as much as I did, and I was the lead graphics artist? Makes you really feel appreciated, eh? But that's because he had gone to business school, and he had, like, business. He knew all about the business, you know? And that was a company that was all about the business. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta really, really work, work on that business. Sometimes you just gotta do more business. That's just how business works. Business, business, business. You know, it's just about business. Sad though. <laughs> Especially when they also, which was one of the leading causes to me quitting that job. Uh, is that they they froze everyone's pay for two years. No one got any pay rises, as far as I'm aware. Maybe the others did. But they froze everyone's pay for two years. I, I think actually over two years. <clears throat> not, be <clears throat> not because the company was struggling or anything. Only because the company hadn't made a big enough profit that year or according to the CEO the company hadn't grown as much as it had done the year before so they just froze everyone's pay until they could get their their gains up which I feel is weird because the way they made it out to, to sound was like, oh, the company is struggling, you know, it might not work out for us. Because that's the way they presented it in all of the, like, meetings and stuff. Because they, they were keen on meetings. Um, they phrased it in a way where it's like, oh shit, this is, you know, the, the future of the company seems dodgy. What What's going to happen? Are we, like, are we, are we good? Is, is there, like, a risk to... You know, whatever, going under. Uh, and I asked, eventually I asked outright, like, what's what's the deal? Like, are we are we literally at risk of, of going under? Should I be sort of carefully looking for a backup job? And that's when it turned out that, no, we're still going, we're still making a profit. It's just not as big of a profit as it was during the start. Which is like, yeah, of course, you can't grow at the same rate for years and years. Eventually, you're going to plateau and peak. You're going to hit like a point where the people who are interested in your product already know about you. But that doesn't that doesn't matter, I guess. That's not how it works. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they did not freeze the CEO's pay. For sure, yeah. He's too important. There. Let's see, I want to make sure. Back from a meeting? Hey, speaking, speaking of. Speak the devil. Good. So that's one loop. We could actually visualize this with an array and just go beep boop boop beep. Look at that. What a loop! What a loop! 
Now that you're gone and you smell like poop. Okay, good. So that's a loop. This one could be a loop as well. Why not? Loop. Whoops. Loop. Save. So I think the middle section then should be sort of the... Eh, I'll fix that later. Okay. Hey, what's happening here? Eh? Oh. Ah. Save. So that's that's the main background, and then I'm gonna stick a couple of trees in here as well. How long has it been? Two and a half hours. Let's just make a tree. Just to see how it be. Rotate X 90 degrees. What's like if you have a bad work experience, what's your bad work experience? Do you have a bad work experience? Or like, you weren't trusted to do your job or some, some stupid boss expected way too much out of your job or something? Did you, did you quiet quit? Did you laze around like a lazy millennial bum? Did you Gen Z your way out of having to do anything by complaining? Which isn't how things work, Gen Xers. It is, it is harder these days. You don't know. Frickin' grandmas and grampies. Grammys and grampies all over the place, thinking they're the bee's knees. Um, uh, okay, well that looks like a tree. Already. Yeah, not majorly. Uh, just, just minimally. Just, a, just a light bit of, a light bit of awful. Well, there is, a, there is a case to be made for like most jobs, unfortunately, having, having not fun moments and that's just something that i think is unavoidable to a certain extent you can't you can't have a great time and love every second of every day when you're doing your job i think that's an unrealistic expectation but you should still not be taken advantage of i am h o do 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 Like a multi-layered tree? Yeah, that could work. Ay, ay, ah. You should be in front. And then we stick a trunk in between these two. And then this one could be dark and this one could be light green. <gasps> it could be amazing, I swear. Let's see. We want to do a solidify and a solidify. Solidify, solidify. Good. Do, 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 do. Boom, bum, 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 bum. Apply and generate subdivision surface. Put it above. Same here. Apply subdivision surface. Above. Good. Good. Very good. That is good. Cool. Do 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 do. Ah, yeah, no. 
was once fired from a fancy dress store for not being able to help a customer find something we didn't sell. What? How could you be fired for that? How is it your fault if you don't sell the thing? Did you punch them in the face, spit in their eyeballs and laugh at them and say, stupid customer, we don't sell that. Because then there might be precedents for it. Got fired from an insurance company once for seeing my therapist too much when I documented it all to the supervisor and had letters and stuff stating my health was in jeopardy if I didn't see her weekly. I'm assuming by weekly you mean once a week. How could that be too much? <laughs> what? How could that be too much? Unless you're going like daily on company time every time then i feel like they have literally nothing no leg to stand on right isn't what can, can't you like can't you if you get fired for the wrong reasons can't you like sue or something <laughs> can't you do something i feel like you should be able to do something Absolutely, yeah, yeah. They want it 24-7 company. Well, that's the thing. That's something that that so many companies nowadays seem to almost expect that people are that people live for their job. And that people are happy to like drop everything at any point to do more work. And I don't I I don't know why that has like become become a thing. Why why it seems so common? Cause that's like To me that sounds like the worst kind of mentality for for, for an employer. To have like, like that's someone who should not be in a position of leadership if they don't realize that people are people especially when it's like the founder or, or owner of a company because like yeah it's you might put in extra time and extra work but it's your company. It, you're, you're kind of expected to do that when it's your company. Because you decided to do this. <laughs> and you probably make the most money. Can't really, like, hold employees to the same standard or same level of commitment as the owner of a company. Or you pay them equal, and then maybe. You know? I think there was actually I actually saw uh, a an article just today. I don't know where it went. Just gonna see if it was like saved in my history or something. Uh, no, there was an article about legislation, like new upcoming legislation, stating that. Oh, what, it, it was called something specific, like, like the right to disconnect or something, which is proposing to literally make it illegal for employers to contact their employees off work hours. Like it, it's, it's just not allowed as per this suggestion and i think that's a great suggestion <laughs> i think that's good i think that's how it should be if you're not on company time and you're not being paid you shouldn't have to answer your your boss i think you could still want to or you know you can have depends on your relation obviously to the company and to the person but i don't think you should be forced to 
Like, it shouldn't be a risk to your job if you don't when it's not on company time. Because if you want me to do stuff, pay me. <laughs> pay for it. Cool. Uh, this one could get this one just for now. Do 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 a sign. Make it brown. Great. Okay, so we have we have a bit of a a basic setup. Whoops. Cool. Save. Okay. I like that. I think that that could work in terms of like scale and stuff. If we then have another layer of hills, let's say, but they're like dark and in the distance. Just to like build depth. Duplicate. Swish. Save. Something, something along those lines, at least. Just to give our some, give ourselves some practice, practice stuff. Yeah, no, I like that. So then, in front here is gonna be like all the actual, like the walk, the path for walking, and the gravestones and stuff. This is all way too big as well. Maybe this is too small. That's more like it. No, these are built to scale. That's more like it. <laughs> uh, scale. You can zoom in. Whoops, whoops. There. So that'll be the level... The, the level window, so to speak. Let's see. Viewport. Like that. Ignoring these. Okay. Yeah, let's come up with like a decent layout before we start to populate it with gravestones and stuff. Uh, but Hammy, welcome. Ha Hammy or Hammy? Which one do you prefer? Hammy or Hakey? Think there's a law on that? But some find a way to slither away from it? I mean, yeah, probably. I. But this is something that's gonna like, like a new thing. Uh, it oh, it was called something specific. Let's just write to disconnect law. Yeah, it is called the right to disconnect. Oh, but that's a that's older. This is the oh, okay. Here here's the thing. California law would give employees the right to disconnect during non-working hours. If passed, California would be the first state to create a right to disconnect. Similar laws have been enacted in 13 countries already, including Australia, Argentina, Belgium, France, Italy, Mexico, Portugal, and Spain. So it's it's coming to America, I guess. That's why it was uh That's why it was news. Sweden does not have a right to disconnect. Do 
<laughs> there is no statutory right in Sweden for employees to disconnect and no proposals from the government that this should change. However, it is not common in Sweden that employers regularly try to connect with employees when not at work and expect a response as employees should respect their employer's private time. So I guess we don't have a system for it. It's just sort of built on mutual respect. Uh, but then there's also... From... Starting... Hold on. Starting in... Today? No. Starting... Oh yeah, it has started. I think as of... As... Yeah, as of April 1st. It wasn't a joke. As of two days ago, weed is legal in Germany. Should we all go to Germany? Germans celebrate as recreational cannabis use becomes legal. <laughs> Whoa, you can even grow it at home? Adults can now cultivate up to three cannabis plants for private consumption. Cool. GG. GG, Germany. Uh, before we take this scene any further, though, I have to go pee and stuff. And it has been almost three hours. So let us pee. Go Germany, right? Yeah, we're all, we're all going to Germany. I just wish that Sweden would get its ass out of its butt. Uh, yeah. Sweden strongly prohibits the use of cannabis and THC, whether for personal use, production, sale, or even consumption itself. Unlike many countries that classify cannabis as a class B drug, the Swedish government treats it on par with heroin and amphetamine. Weed. On par with heroin and amphetamine. So, to the Swedish legal system, it's as bad to smoke a joint as it is to sh to do heroin and meth. GG, Sweden. Uh, anyway, let's go have a pee, and I'll see you in a little bit. Pause. Go get some snacks. Perhaps a carbonated soda. I hope they have ices. I've chosen the large tub. My nipples look like milk duds. I've got some yellow liquid for your popcorn. And it's non-dairy.
<laughs> I'm back. Uh, this. Do do do. Okay. Uh, what was happening? Oh, right. Save. Let's do. Yeah, let's do textures. Let's do. I want to see how this looks. Painted. Well, let's put ground in. Ground, ground. So this is the ground. What? If this is the ground. Eh? Delete. <laughs> Why was it the wrong size? Okay. This is the ground. Do, 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 do. Uh, this one, this one, okay. Rotate X, negative 90, perfect. So this is the ground. I feel like the ground needs to tilt towards camera a bit. Let's see. Even though it kind of doesn't make a lot of sense doesn't really need to, does it? It doesn't really need to make much sense when you think about it. Actually, if we walk, I want to, okay, so the characters need to be able to walk on this. So I'm thinking we do this and then we boost. So we get more ground in the shot. Do, do, do. Kind of? I will right, stick to it for now. Let's see how it goes. So if this ground has like a trench. Hello? If this ground has like a trench for walking here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, no. I just don't see the purpose of motorbikes themselves. Bikes, better for environment. Cars, fit people. Trucks, fit stuff. Motorbikes, what? Yeah, pretty much. That's that's my main gripe as well. It's so much noise and pollution for nothing. For fun. If you like to drive bikes for fun, then you can't complain about NFTs or uh, b b uh, crypto. It's also just pollution for fun. Anyway. Ground. Okay, so this is like the trench that we walk through. There, and then scale X, no, scale Z, zero. Ah, damn it. Scale Z zero. Good. I just want, I want like a little flat path for the main characters, which will be sort of there. Can we just, can we just, can we just make this, can we just make this, you know, make this the, the, the brown. Okay. And then, we should probably sculpt something. Ah, that'll do for now. So, that's the floor. That's the ground. Uh, and then... And then what? And then, and then what do we have? Tombstones! Coffin, tombstone, gravestone, gravestone one. Do do. Wait! Oh man. Wait, there's no notification. I thought there would be notifications for the YouTube stuff. Bari Diddle, thank you for the $5, though. I'm sorry there's no notification for the YouTube things. Apparently only the Twitch ones work. I thought I had it set up so that it had both. Um, I guess not. But Bari Diddle, thank you for the five 
for the five super chat thing. Happy belated high opacity today. Uh, you're awesome. Your animations are incredible. You deserve immense happiness. <laughs> Keep it up. Thank you, Bari. Thank you for the kind words. How how do you how do you do? Look, we're making a, a graveyard. Are you spooked? It's pretty spooky. I don't want you to get too frightened now. Um, hmm. Let's... Okay, this is a little bad. It's so small! The tombstone is too small. How do we make it look better? <laughs> I don't want to scale it up because I then if you scale it up, if things are the wrong scale, then light is going to start looking different. Like shadows are going to be too sharp, etc. Do, 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 do. Okay. That works. <laughs> oh, can't decide. How about 30 and then we zoom way in? 35 millimeter. No. 70 millimeters is fine. We'll have to adapt to that setup. Hmm. Yeah, all right. That'll do. Boo -doo -boo -boo -boo. Should I add Mothman? Sufficiently spooked. Add Mothman in a tree? I mean, I could. That could be... Oh, that could be fun references and stuff. Because, like, the, the plan is for this set to... You know the level in Cuphead where you're at the theater? And you have, like... There's the moon, but it hangs off of two rope. And it ropes and it just lowers down the, like the comet and stuff uh, so everything is hanging off of bits or, or anchored I want that vibe so all of this is going to be like painted wood essentially but then there could be a moon hanging down but there could also be a mothman on like wire just <laughs> going across with like little little wings, like one of those seagulls, the birds that you hang in like over a crib where you pull the bottom string and, and it goes like whoop, 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 whoop with the wings because it bobs up and down. One of those, but for the Mothman that goes whoop, 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 past. See, there's a lot of potential once, once this is all like populated and stuff. Let me try to be smart here and put the gravestones I'm gonna put them here underneath everything and then I want to put I want to how do I do this how do I instance things instance I need an instance how do I duplicate it as an instance duplicate duplicate the selected object but not their data join Asset. Instance. How do I instance you? Instance. 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 Google, help me. Instance, instance, duplicate blender. Duplicate linked. Mm, okay. Okay. Alt D. Alt D, not shift D. Okay, so because that's linked, if I go in here and I like... Okay, good. 
So that can go back here for now. So this is going to be sort of the spawn areas for the eventual bees or the bee ghosts. There's going to be bees. There's going to be undead bees, bee ghosts popping out of things such as coffins. They could probably be a bit bigger. Eh, I shouldn't. Well, I do. Well, I shouldn't. I should scale everything else down. That's better. Do 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 do. Like I want I want a lot of ground to be visible. I guess that works. I don't want it to look like bad though. It's the worst when you make something and then you discover that it secretly it looked like bad this whole time. Do 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 do. Yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be the level is gonna be called boobies. Yes. That's that's uh that's the pun of this level. Every level has a bee theme. Well, the theme of the game is gonna be super bee. Because because of because of Rhythm Heaven Fever. The name of the game is gonna be Super Bee. So everything is bee themed. And this level is gonna be called Boobies. Mm. And and it's gonna be ghosts, bee ghosts. And stuff. And it's going to be very, very spooky, to be sure. Super B! Oh, should we play, replay some classic, some classic uh, Rhythm Heaven Fever as well? I could, I could uh, emulate it, I think. Let's see, that's probably a good place for the path. I have it on real as well, but then I would have to find and unpack and hook up my Wii U, which uh, is less fun as an experience in general. Ah. Yeah. Definitely. Just go to bed. <laughs> ba bum bum bum. Ba bum bum bum. Ba bum bum bum. And jab. And jab. And jab. And jab. Go, go, go! That's the kind of game I want to make. Okay. Uh, so Alt D. So I'll have all the originals down here. And then Alt D. Alt D. Do, 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 do. Just so that we have like a scene to work with. I'll, I'll populate it properly and nicely. When I know if this even works, <laughs> this style. Yeah, the, the feeling, the feeling I want is like you've made a set with some props, but the rest is kind of just painted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. All right. We'll, we'll go with that for now as our test in Viromont. I'm going to sculpt the ground to be like lumpy and stuff and have like things and stuff. Like pebbles, maybe, or dirt piles. Uh, but for now, this is sufficient. I say as I add more stuff. I was looking at it and I was unhappy with its lack of sufficiency. Hold on. Okay, now. Now. 
now it's sufficient. Okay, so I wanna... Let's UV map these things. The, the background stuff, and then paint some textures in Photoshop. Let's also get another... Do you wanna have another... Album? Go to bed, jazz! Pose for the fans! Whoa, you go, big guy. Hey, uh, that was another idea that I had, because we have, like, 27 free emote slots for animated emotes. Uh, I wanted to take some emotes from Rhythm Heaven Fever and, like, animate, like, potentially. Whoa, you go, big guy! Or, uh other things that I can't think of now. Just in general, we want- we need more animated emotes. I want to make some animated emotes. So if you have like a fun animation emote idea, let me know. Maybe we can have- Oh no, we shouldn't. I was gonna say, we, we, we'll put a- we'll make an emote that is like a butt with jiggle physics. But Twitch wouldn't like that. We would get thrown out. All right, first of all, let's do that, and that, and that. Eh? Oh. That. Okay. So this is our set. <sighs> okay, I can't quite decide now because the other things are sculpted and they're not gonna have image textures. There's just gonna be colors for them. But this needs image textures. Is it gonna look weird when some things are textured and some things are not? No Twitch, no fun allowed. Twitch only likes butt if you green screen your gameplay onto them. Actually, I think you're not allowed to do that anymore either now. Fortunately. <laughs> Because that was silly. Which, if you didn't see, a new, a new, a new gamer, a new Twitch thought gamer meta <laughs> was to wear green underwear and then point the camera at your butt and then green screen gameplay onto your butt. Just do porn! Just do porn already! Stop trying to put porn on Twitch and just go do porn. It's fine. You're allowed to do porn. Just go do porn. <laughs> Alright, save. Uh, surface. Yes. Do do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just go, go on OnlyFans. But the thing is, they are all uh, on OnlyFans already. It's just that they use Twitch as advertising, so that they they find that's how new new OnlyFans subscribers find them. Hmm? I'm an advocate for doing porn. Yeah, for sure. If 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 someone is. Uh, of, of sane mind and a legal adult, they should be allowed to do as much porn as they want. Just not in non-porn environments. Mm, wait, what am I looking for? Oh. I even say allow sexual content on Twitch if we want to be like sticklers about it. But that's not going to happen, because then the advertisers wouldn't like it. And it's all about the advertisers at the end of the day. I still say it should be allowed. Nudity should be allowed on Twitch. With like an 18 plus tag, uh, of course. Mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Think of the children. I mean, they can go on Pornhub just as easily as anyone. 
if they want. You think I waited until I was over 18 before I looked at a porn? You think your kids will? I've got some bad news for you. If you're if you have a kid that is older than 11, they've probably seen porn. Mm, good. So now do, 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 do save. Now we can UV map these and paint them. I just, I, I feel like it's, like, it's not, it, for me personally, the problem with, with like, these, all of these classic Twitch thought things, or Instagram, whatever, whatever it is, like anything sexually suggestive or explicit, my problem with those people, like, uh, uh, like with Amaranth and all of this stuff, like on Twitch, isn't what they're doing, it's where they're doing it. Because it's the hypocrisy of it, you know? It's the, it's the hypocrisy of not allowing what, what are those, nudity, are those no way. except in no some way. cases. I don't like that. I don't like the hypocrisy. Either you allow it, which I think is better, so that people can make their own choices, or you don't. But you don't, you don't half, halfway it. I don't like that. Okay. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Let's scooch that there. There? 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 Whatever. <laughs> For now. There. Oh, let's add a moon as well. Scale X. No! Rotate X 90. Perfect. Do, 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 do. Uh, shady business. Thank you for the raid as well. Welcome to trying to, whoops, trying to model a set, like a stage theater set, graveyard. So that would be just above. I think it'd be cool if it was like there. Be cool if we get like a little bit of a shadow from the moon. Uh, let's put that there. Call that moon. All right, save. Wait. Hey. Huh? Fr Wait. Link. This one to this one. No, this one to this one. Link. Link data. I that was bad. Link. Which one is it that you link again? Objects? Screw it. <laughs> oh wait. Oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I've done something. Don't look at me. Don't look at me! No! Now I need to solidify you. Just so we get a little thickness on it. Good. Whoops. Right, so now let's unwrap some stuff and... Oi, oi! Unwrap some stuff and do some texture stuff. And then we can put in some light and stuff. Actually, let's put in some light and stuff first because it's more fun. Uh, 
Um, I guess if we're doing a... I haven't quite decided how I want this to look. Let's do spotlights first. Yeah. You're doing blender stuff as well? What are you doing in blender stuff? What kind of blender stuff are you, are you doing? Shady blender stuff? Illegal, shady business? Busted. This was all a sting operation. Set up. So, uh, you need to be powerful, for sure. More. Let's pretend that these are like stage lights. Just for now. I mean, that's very plain and boring, and it's not going to look like that, but so far, <laughs> we can live with it. Oh, actually, it'd be cool if... So if I put the sky further away, we can get away with squeezing in some light sources between the sky and the foreground, which could lead to, like, these cool little rims you get that like nice highlight on the edges separate them a bit and also highlight the fact that they are flat which I want to be apparent yeah just a random environment scene I mean that's kind of what this is as well so hey Okay, if I do that... I mean, that looks... Bland. <laughs> looks fine, but bland. If I now... Cartoonify everything... Let me just see how that looks. Let's see. Tune... Tune. Skadoosh. We'll see. We'll call this one Tunify. Save. We'll do an override. I just want to see how everything looks. Uh, if it's all cartoon. Well, I say cartoon. Cell shaded. Override. Material overrides. Tunify. Ugh. Okay. Hmm. Wish it was an easier way to turn off all of this ambient bouncing light. Hold on. I have to go into visibility. Diffuse. 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 There you go. Diffuse. There you go. So that nothing reflects light to other places, because I want these harsh conditions. Pretty cool. Spooky! I'll put it down there. Okay. Um, but what does that do for us? Not a lot. Hmm. 
kind of cool. Where did my... Where, wait, where, oh. See, I don't know if I want it to be... If I want to have a realistic stage with cartoon characters on, or if I'm gonna... Or if I want it to look all, like, hand-drawn. What do you think is cooler? Because we could go... There could be two... We could go two ways about it. Either we do, like, Paper Mario, where the environment looks real, like it's 3D and it's supposed to look real, with flat characters. Or we do it, like, melatonin, so that everything looks drawn. On, like, a paper. I can't, I can't decide, like, what, what vibe I want. I do like that this gravestone, though, kind of looks like a person in a hooded cloak. It's kind of spooky, like that. Who is that? Ooh, someone's turned into the grave. Ooh, ooh. Is that Be Bethilda Bagshot? What? Ooh. Um, no, what I want to do kind of though is... Why not just... Hold on. want to position myself a little bit better uh give me my material no where's the moon right why is it grainy still oh there's something that's still casting off diffuse light Take a nap because I really don't want to wake up this early. Go to go to bed, Shady. See you later. Okay, it's kind of cool, but it's kind of bad. I think the ground being just flat is also messing up our perspective on things. But like that could be cool, but it's a little bit boring if everything is so harsh. Ugh, just ground, honestly. Hold on. New material. Ground. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Oh, right, of course. Because I'm overriding everything. Right, fine. Let's do it... Well, we're here. Let's do it like this first. Let's just see how this turns out. If I if I add some line art to this and stuff, well, it might be cool. We'll see. This is fine, though. Whoa. That could work. I think so, actually. Um, I mean, I'm, 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 wait, glossy. Ooh, glossy is good. 
Hold on. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. Not glossy. This, 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 and then this. Link. What is this? Object. How do I link visibility? Oh, do I have to do this per thing? Glossy. 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 Okay. Okay. So now I have a glossiness factor as well. I, it, it doesn't really... Oh. Oh, I see. Ugh. Whatever. We'll keep it there. What else should we do? Brighten the world? No. Let's add line art and see what we like. Object. Add. I think if I just add line art to the scene, okay, let's save, because it's gonna probably lag. Add line art to the scene. I wanna see if it confines to the shapes of the, this is kind of the make or break for the line art style. If this line art confines to all of the detail of the texture, like the normal map, or to the object themselves, Oh, phew, it worked. I didn't actually think it would. Did it? I don't think it did. But also the fact that I can't tell is probably doesn't means it doesn't matter much. Okay, thickness. Let's see, thickness we want length we want subdivide we want dash dot nah we want smooth let's see how this looks first of all with as line art cool so length length we'll make them a little shorter than they're supposed to be so that they leave tiny, tiny gaps. Uh, and then the thickness will be, let's say 10. Whoa, let's say 20. Let's say 30. But let's make curves. Okay. This kind of looks kind of cool. Oh, it looks ugly, but kind of cool. Um, what else do we want to do? We want to set the line arth, arth to chain. We want to preserve details. We want to smooth. There. I wish I knew how to like save stuff. If I could save all of these settings that I'm doing now that you can't really see because it's behind the chat. If I could save all of these settings, I could just like apply this because it's kind of the same every time. Uh, there. I can. You can do it. Which is the annoying part because I don't know how. No. Okay. Cool. Length is fine. Thickness is fine. Thickness is fine. 50. Whoa. 10. Whatever. There. I mean, this doesn't look bad. Oh. This doesn't look bad with line art. 
it does kind of take away a lot of option though, because you can't do any depth of field. Unless I do depth of field like Spider-Verse, where it's like the background is like has multiple strokes. But then it stops looking like a, a set, a stage, and it starts looking like a, a bad drawing. Since it's going to be a set, I think if it's actually 3D, it's better. Hello, Lara. There's like a thing on my thing. <laughs> oh, there's, there's like a, a little speck right there. I can see it. better. Okay. Laura, do you like this? What do you think? It looks, mm, you know, doesn't it? Mm, a little. Mm. What if it's all black and then the line art is white? Ooh. That's an interesting look. Hmm. No. I think it would be cooler if it wasn't... Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll go with 3D for now. We, we won't focus too hard on the line artness. Because I... Th well... But will it be boring? Will it be bland if it's just... 3D? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying out... Some kind of cell shading with some kind of line art. But I can't decide if I like it or if it's just because... I, I can't decide if I like it because I don't like it. Or if I don't like it because it's just unfinished so far. Let's just set this... Make all of the details go away. Just so we see what we're working with. Line art. This one. Set this back to black. Actually... I want to try this though. If I add a copy of the line art... And then I set this copy to have mm, bobby boop boop, dash dot. Say dash. So I make this one dash dot, and then I see dash dot like that. Uh, turn these off for now. If this is dash dot, I can make it like. Ooh cool this is just kind of ooh. this is just experimentation I've, i i don't know much about this stuff whoa wait if i oh i can use the dash dot to make it into lines if i now put on noise Oh. Okay, what about multiple strokes? Weird. Why does it look so weird? <laughs> what did I do? Oh, I see. Hmm. We could, I mean, yeah, we could, if we really want to, we could call all of the flaws charm instead. Uh, it does, it does make it sound better. 
let me see loose edge geometry space whoa that did something occlusion no geometry process overlapping edges is counter crease on smooth whoa yo, yo, yo. actually no well actually Ooh, weird i could use this effect dash dot dash i don't like this dash dot i could use this effect to get a sketchy vibe hello am i getting a sketchy vibe point one hello oh whoops <gasps> Oh no, what have I done? I mean, it's sketchy, all right. Do, 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 do. Cool. Cool. We could even extend. I, I'm confused. I'm confused as to what I'm doing, <laughs> but I'm tr I'm trying it anyway. Yeah, have to do you have to go to bed? <gasps> Good night, Jazz. Sleep tight, ass. You do need to go to bed though, most assuredly. See, that's kind of cool. If you bring it down just to sort of sketch sketch up some of the lines. Uh, and then like bring this one back as the solid hmm. so this is this is this is maybe interesting this is maybe something see we can fade the Ooh. fade distance okay we're fading them out over time like, as we get further away from the main line, we fade them away. Let's move them out more. Yeah. It's getting sketchy. We could even pull them back a lot. That's kind of cool. You get them to, like, overlap and go too far certain places. Okay, let me let me see where we can take this. Hmm. Hmm. Don't think this is gonna work, but I mean, we can. It's experimentation, you know. You gotta you gotta live a little. This is always a trickier part about working with modifiers like this, like when they're stacked on top of each other like this. Boop, 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 boop. Because the, the order you stack them in change, change up the result a bunch. So you might have the right settings, you just might not have the right order of stack. That's a pretty cool order of stack. Eh, could work. Let's do something else. Let's thick, thick it less. Let's see, opacity is fine. Center. Oh, I don't really get it. <laughs> I don't really get what I'm doing, but that's okay. We don't have to get it. We could just do it anyway. I think what we need is a smooth. Cool. So now we have sort of a sketchify, which over time will like. But then also the main line which can be thinner now. 20. 10. Why is it so thick on you, eh? 
Why are you so thick? Oh, is it because you're close to the camera? The scamera? Does that make you thicker? Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, if you say so. I was kind of hoping it would be the same thickness everywhere, but... Okay. Okay, fine. Want that on t-shirt? I am confused about what I am doing. I'm still going to do it. I'm just going to be confused about it. Let's render. Uh. It's kind of cool. I'm, 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 I'm thinking about it with like texture or uh, colors and stuff. But how do I want it to look in my head? Mm. I think the problem with this is I think it's going to be too messy as animation as well. Let's just render... Let's just render out like a, a low res version of a hundred frames, you know, a <laughs> hundred frames camera. We'll just move the camera along slightly and just see how we feel about it. So if it starts here and then by frame a hundred. It goes to there. Save. Okay, that's a little tiny. Bigify it, please. Fifty percent. There. That's huge. I think it's gonna when in when in motion, it's just gonna feel. Prrrry. It's going to be a rhythm game. Uh, and yes, this level, for this level, it's going to be side scrolly. So it's going to be scrolling at a set tempo and characters going to be walking uh, about here in the image, walking to the left. So basically the characters are going to be walking in place, but the world is going to be scrolling by. Uh, and then it's going to be a rhythm game. So you have to do actions as your characters walk past stuff. Because, like, from these tombstones and grave, uh, the coffins and stuff and graves, there's going to be uh, ghosts of bees popping out. And then you have to press the button in rhythm with the music, with the bees popping out. Um, so this level is just going to be foreground, middle ground, background, backdrop, four layers with parallax scrolling. So I'm not going to render it as animation like this when it's done. I'm going to render it foreground, middle ground, background, backdrop with alpha so that I can scroll them in Godot. Which is the game engine. Yeah, don't understand what you say unless you use sound effects. Yeah, it's gonna go as your character goes boop 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 and then like boop and you have to press the button so it's like boop boop boo boop as your character's like boop 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 and the world is like shh you know kind of like that do, 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 do. let's a go mexico I think it's f better if this is in 3D with cartoony textures or like cartoony surfaces. So maybe maybe not so much like realism, but just make it sort of kind of a uh, kind of a uh, kind of 
I'm trying to think of a game that has a similar art style to what I want it to look like. Kind of like, uh... I was going to say World of Warcraft, but not in terms of, like, the two poly models. Like, Warcraft, if it looks good. Like... Like, Polya, but not the characters, just the world. I was telling my brother why I liked you, and one of the reasons I gave was that you use sound effects in place for words sometimes. Totally understood. Yeah, it's useful. It's more useful than you think. Sound effects can convey so much more than simple words can. Okay. I mean, it does look kind of cool. It's low resolution, obviously, but... But I think it's going to be too messy. I'm iffy on it. Delete. Let's do this instead. We set this to zero, and then we go and we do some cheeky lights. Lights. Put some lights in. Ah! Yeah. Makes need some tweaking. Everything always needs tweaking, though. <laughs> That's the hard part about ever doing anything. Everything always needs tweaking. But yeah, the plan is to make the music uh, and to make the game and to, to make everything myself, uh, if possible. That's my, my challenge to myself, is to make it. Okay, so screw this uh, shader for now. Where's my override, please? Over, no, over, no, override. No. Ooh. Okay, so if that's, oh, right. If that's good, uh, Okay, so we have, we have a scene, we have some light sources, like it's gonna, it's gonna require some fixing of some of these models, though, especially these ones, because it's too lumpy, but I guess we can live with that. So, let's try this. If I use... IES. IES textures is like a light source texture. Uh, so if I like this spotlight, right? This one, it's got like a 3D spotlight look. It's a soft fall off uh, or a soft, yeah, soft fall off with, if given some size, soft shadows. It's very not real looking, but I can load an, e an IES texture. Let's see. 3D textures, IES. Wait, where's my IESers? IES, sir. IES? Textures? No. Oh, these. So they like shape the light into these shapes. Uh, <laughs> shocker, I know. So like if I get, if I get like soft display, no, let's get, let's get X arrow, IES. I plug this into the strength and now 
my spotlight. Okay, that one wasn't so apparent. Oops. Let me get a more, a more apparent one. This one, Bollard. See, now my spotlight, the light that comes out of my spotlight will have the shape of that texture. So now it's got like a, a dark spot in the middle, which I don't want for this one, but it's kind of cool. Display. Hey. Now it has like a very hot spot in the middle. That's kind of good. That looks better. That's, that's a nice... It's a nice spotlight spot. Set that to 60. This one to 0.2. Eh. Eh. Quite fun. And that this one to 0.2. Mm, one. One is good. It's kind of cool. So let's find a good spotlight that works for our purposes. Maybe uh, Sorry, medium. I don't know that one. That's okay. Great. Great. <laughs> Great. Defined spot. That sounds like a smart choice. Uh, yeah, because now now, if we're making everything like actually 3D, we can have cool stuff like depth of field and fog and all of this stuff. Which is as fun as a, a, a stylized 2D, 3D fakery thing is. I do enjoy a good depth of field and some some sweet, whoops, some sweet. Actually, I am right. I am. I was right. I like myself some good old-fashioned depth of field and some fog, some volumetric lighting and stuff. It's all like cool and cool. I like it when things are cool. Wait. External open IES. V? Okay. Oh, spooky. Okay, is this... Is this doing anything? I feel like this, this texture isn't really texturing the way I want it to. Whoops! Why are they not apparent er? <laughs> They're not apparent her. You can't really see much of texture in the that one kinda works. There's not a lot of texture in the light. There's another thing called something where you put Ooh. Where you put things in front of lights or you put a texture onto a light so that it looks like it shines through trees or leaves, stuff like that. You just put like filters in front of them. Maybe I should do that. I've never done it though. just not apparent. They're just not apparent. Okay, fine. We'll go with this for now. Just widen this one a bit. Pretty good. Eh. All right, so if I were to set up the field, we could actually... Whoops. Let's add a stand-in, 
Should we have a... Do we have a... Do I have any any mask, any good PNG image that I could use as a stand-in? We could use this one. Just get a sense of where the characters would be. So about there. <laughs> do 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 boink do 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 do. Now, can I set that as my target for depth of field, please? Oh, I can! Wayo! So now it's this this image will never show up in the actual rendered version, but this is now where I'm focusing. So if I put that there, you can see that I'm focusing on this this <laughs> this rock when I move this plane to that rock. Or the coffin, or the moo. Very good. So that's the center where the characters are gonna be. So this is the depth of field. What if we said it's 0 0.01? Oh! I think. Uh, rotate X 90. I think now... Now, only this bit, only this thin, 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 thin sheet is gonna be in focus. Which is a little excessive, maybe, but... Let's see, focus on you. Swing! Okay, so that's it. That's the- wait a minute! Uh, there's a remesh option right here? Oh no, was I dumb this whole time? I kind of gotta pee again. Do you gotta pee again? I gotta pee again. Is there an ad running right now? My timer for when the ads happen have stopped. Uh, let's see, camera, camera, depth of field. I need to set this back up to 0.1 for now. Actually less, 0.2, sure, 0.28. Yeah, if we say yes when you go pee, no. If you say no, I will though. Mm, or will I? No. But I do wanna... I don't like this. Why does it do this? I think I should go into this file, the original, before I start using it everywhere and just... Because this is kind of simple topology between here and here. I should be able to clean this up and make it not so steppy. Because it's way too steppy. I don't want it to be so steppy. Okay. That's fine for now, though. Okay, so if this one now were made a little blue for spook factor, and then this one was made a little red for spook factor, and then we added another one. Another one! Actually, can we just make the moon glow? Is that like illegal or. Emission! 10. 100. 10,000! Okay. I mean, it doesn't really, it doesn't give off that much light. I was kind of expecting more of a spotlight vibe, but that's okay. I didn't need it. Uh, let's try this as well. Let's add volume. So I'm just gonna... I don't know if this actually matters. You can make it so that it's 
faster to... If you want to make volumetric lighting and stuff, you can make it faster for your computer if you make it only happen inside of a little box rather than the whole world. No? So I'm building a little box for my lights to go inside of so that Blender only has to think about fog inside of this cube rather than the whole world! So this cube will now be a... Boom, 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 boom. It will be always just a wireframe so it doesn't block our view. And it will have a material with a volume... Oops. Volume scatter. Pew. Oops. Pew. Now that is foggy. Maybe too, too much. I wish there was a, an easy way to make it, like, more contrasty. Like, I, I want more volume in the beams and less everywhere. It's so dense, you know? I think maybe if I mix, mix shader, if I mix this with a volume absorption, <gasps> Point one? What is that? What does that do? What does the volume absorption do? <laughs> what does it do? Does it just make it darker? What's the point? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, spooky blue mist. I don't get it. What's the volume absorption for? Whoa, it's so blue. Why'd it get so blue? Oh. What does this do? Oh, it makes it all blue and stuff. It's nuts. Should it be denser? What does it do? <laughs> I'm so confused. Density... Wait, can I, oh, can I ramp? Can you ramp map range? Can you range a shader? No, because it doesn't have an input. Oh, wait, it does have a value. Can you do it with a ramp? Yeah. You can see them make water trickling noises. No! Anything but this. I, I don't see the point. I don't see the point in this volume absorption shader. I don't I don't get I don't get it. I don't know what it does. I saw someone use it once, but I don't know why. <laughs> I guess just like Oh crap. I guess just like a middle ground. It's like a point six. Ow. Ow. It's so like little. Mama mo. Focal. Plane. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. Okay, wait. Denoise. Save. I 
hate seeing those ridges. So I'm just gonna hide them in the shadows. never any ridges on this gravestone. I don't know what you're talking about. There was never any problems with anything at all. Don't even think about it. No one ever saw anything. Shh. Okay, I'm gonna go pee. I'm gonna go pee. Uh, don't... Don't fret. I'll BRB. I'm not even going to, like, put the pause screen on. I'm just going to do this. There was never ridges. I'm also expecting a package, but it hadn't arrived yet. Do you have it? Oh, it's an hour and a half away. Never mind. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, see, this is the problem. Now this looks bad and boring and dumb. Um, so if I'm going to go for the full 3D environment, then I have to like make proper materials and textures and everything for everything. But if I don't, if I just make it all cartoony, then all I have to do is just put color. Hmm. I think I might go back to the outline look. Not now, but... Hmm. All right. First of all, though, let's just draw a texture. Let's let's make these bushes into something that isn't just flat and nothing. Uh, modeling. So I want to UV unwrap them from mm, smart UV project. No, from view. Do 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 do. Oh, whoops. from view there hopefully then i can just like draw bushes <laughs> in photoshop or something onto this and then everything will be cool there and then what else same for this i guess I guess I can do all of these. Cool. 
Yeah. If it's an every package, chances are any one of us could have it. Wait, every package. Every package? Is that every package? Or are you just happy to see me? Every package? That seems excessive. What about what about the other people? If you order every package, then no one else can have one. How rude. Yeah. <laughs> every I've never heard of every. Every? I am assuming it's a shipping thing, but we do not have, to my knowledge, anything called every. We do have, though, which is what is shipping my package. Um, Air me? A R I M E E or M I I? M E E? I think it's M E E. A I R M E E. Air me. They're good. They deliver to your door. You don't have to, like, they just put it. If you say so, in the app, they put it outside the door. You don't have to go and receive it and sign something and meet people and talk to them. They just put it on the floor and they can deliver any time during the day, even like after like 10 at night. It's pretty good. 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 I like it. I like it. Any service that can deliver stuff to me without having to interact with me is a-okay. <laughs> it's the worst part about ordering food. So often you have to like open the door and flag them down. It's like here I am and then you have to take it from them and say thank you for the food and they have to look at your face and stuff and I'm like well I don't want to do that. Wait, what do I? Oh, uh, UV export, export UV layout. Let's just call it env, env, uv, env, uv. Make it 4K. Let's see. Can I do both? Cool. Lovely blue. Export. Save. Photoshop. Yeah, true Nordic. Well, yeah, a, a true a true contactless delivery. Because, like, the food apps, Foodora and Uber Eats, which are our two options when it comes to food delivery, both have the option for contactless delivery. <laughs> they added it back it, during the pandemic. And I've had it. It was auto-enabled back then. And I've had it enabled since then. But they never actually do it. They never actually just leave it outside the door and ding dong or knock. You, they always, always call you on the phone and then and then you have to open the door and wave them down because they just show up outside and like, oh, which apartment? Oh, I'm here. And then you have to like, here I am. And then they have to come over and give it and take it. <laughs> I don't want to. I just put it outside my door. I even wrote instructions in the delivery app where it's like, my my apartment is here from the from the parking lot where you will arrive. You go to, to the right and then it's this one here. That's the where you go. Just they don't they don't uh, they don't really care. I think. What am I looking for? Oh, my UV map here. <laughs> nice. So we have, we have front bush. <laughs> we have front bush. We'll make that sort of a greenish-ish color. We have we have back bush
Whoops. We have back bush. We have dirt. This is dirt. Dirt. And sky. Do, 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 do. There. Sounds good. And en the paint save. Don't show me this. It's scary. All right, I'm good. Do 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 do. Mm? At least it's not as bad as America, where you never, where never have to worry about people stealing your parcels. That's true. Which is nuts. I, I, I really. I'm surprised how common it seems to be in America to just steal packages. The fact that Mark Rober has made like, f what, like five videos about it or something? It's it's already like, wh what? It's strange to me. Because I feel like, especially with as many people as are like caught on camera doing it, like on ring cameras and stuff how is it still so common aren't all those people in jail do, 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 do. i feel like if you if you hand that in to the police like someone stealing a package on your ring camera does that do anything? It, it should. It should put out like a warrant for that person to pay a fine at the very least. Like reimbursement for the package plus a fine. Like if you're caught on camera doing it, how it, how is that not something that you have to pay for? I don't know if it is, but if it isn't, why isn't it? And if it is, then why do people keep doing it? Do do do. Hmm? I feel like, yeah, I feel like they kind of stop caring about stuff like that when it happens enough times. Like when it happens too much, they're just like, eh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Fix the problem. I don't know. I, maybe it's a thing here as well. I, To be fair, I don't know. Like, I don't live in a house, and I've never lived in a house where I have had packages delivered. Maybe it's different for, like, a, an apartment building. Although, it seems common in apartment buildings as well. Based on body cam stuff or ring camera stuff on YouTube. It just seems so co so common. It's so bizarre. Not, not even like, not even thinking about the, the potential legal ramifications, but just like as, just like for your own sake, for your own morals, doesn't it like, doesn't it embarrass, make you embarrassed about yourself when you steal something? Aren't you ashamed? I would be mortified. I was mortified. The one time I stole something. Do, 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 do. Hmm? 
sad to see it happening. I haven't had a package stolen, but I have had opened and retamed tampered packages before. Jeez. Yeah, that's another scary thing. It's still... Oh, whoops. It's still such a bizarre... I don't know. I, I don't get a lot of stuff <laughs> in America, but that, like the fact that people just take things is a, a continuous and bafflement for me. Because like, maybe someone knows why this is the case, but I see a lot of footage recently of people going to like places like, I don't know, like Target or Walmart or whatever else uh, and just like taking things and just like blatantly walking out of the store with it as if they're not doing anything wrong. Why? How has that become like a, a thing people do now? Like what? Why? Why do they do that? You can't. They know that you can't steal. Presumably. But people just like take stuff and just leave. Presumably because they know that the store people, employees, can't do much about it. Because like I'm as I guess I'm assuming you're not allowed to touch a criminal in America, which is baffling if a store store like security guard is not allowed to stop someone stealing. Because they can get sued, I suppose, for assault. Is that literally it? Are people just so comfortable now with using assault as a scapegoat that they just steal and just walk away? Yeah. America has created an every man for himself system because their government is not helping them. Big business are always winning. So desperation kicks in. Yeah. Store employees aren't allowed to stop them at all. Just let them take it and call the cops. I I don't think that's good. <laughs> I don't think that's the way it should be. If someone is obviously stealing and you work for the store and they're trying to leave with stuff that they haven't paid for or cannot prove that they have paid for, then you should be allowed as a store guard to guard your property and stop them. I was in retail and I was never allowed to stop anyone from stealing. Why? I don't get it. I don't, I, I really don't understand how that's not allowed. If you're, if you're stealing, like if you don't want them to touch you, don't steal then. It's kind of easy. It's easy to not steal stuff, I've noticed. Too dangerous? Oh, I guess that's true. Literally anyone could be holding a gun in their pocket. That's true. I didn't I didn't factor that in. I guess that is something that you have to take into account in in America. When I worked retail, we were expected to chase and grab shoplifters. One of the girls tried and ended up getting dragged halfway across the road. I mean, yeah, that's... That's what I think... It shouldn't be expected of employees to chase shoplifters or, like, to try to stop shoplifters. You know, it should be kind of up to each... Each uh, and their own discretion if they feel comfortable doing it or not. But it should always be within the right, especially if you're like a security guard uh, and you're you're tasked with protecting the property of the store. I don't see the difference between it's private property until you've paid for it. So what's the difference between trespassing on someone's property and trying to steal their stuff from doing the same to Target? 
it's it's private property until you've paid for it, right? Do 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 bo 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 bo. Security guard. I feel like that's like what they are supposed to do. If a security guard isn't allowed to stop a shoplifter, what is the purpose of the security guard? Look imposing, I suppose. So here's the plan, right? For this stuff, I'm gonna paint. Uh, I'm gonna paint bushes with edges, and then leave overlap so that it looks like you painted. You've cut out a rough shape, painted it background color, sky color. Uh, and then painted bushes on top. Thing is, this is supposed to be in front, though, of other bushes. So I think this should be more this color. But for now, let's just go with this. Yeah, deterrent? I guess. I mean kind of obviously doesn't really work though but I guess it's better whoops better than nothing uh, let's see so maybe we could wait what oh right we could I want to see if I can filter this to look kind of paint painted painterly let's see filter gallery what do we got Mm -hmm. And that looks pretty decent. This is my old saved version. Mm, it's pretty good. Let's see, strokes, sprayed strokes. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. That, don't think most stores in America have security guards. I mean, to be fair, we don't either. Like, I, I can't remember the last time I saw a security guard for a store. Like, the mall would have maybe guards patrolling the mall in general, but I haven't actually seen a, a, a guard for a store, I think, ever. Maybe during the pandemic. Um, but we also don't have, you know, four guns per square eagle. So it's less of an issue here, I think. Mm. Mm. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I mean, I guess I don't see the point anyway. If they if they aren't allowed to stop anyone, like, what's the point of paying a security guard? Yeah, per square eagle. Yeah, guns per square eagle. That's how you measure AK-47s per square eagle. That's how you measure stuff in America. What else can we do? Sumier. Whoa. Dark strokes? Angled strokes? Palette knife? That's the one I had, isn't it? Oh. <sighs> eh. Sure, whatever. Let's go with that for now. See how we feel about it. Uh, and then let's, mm, let's save this. Punga. End the paint, save. Yes. 
doink there and then shader editor uh, so for this one we can grab an image wasn't that like that was the thing a while back where, <laughs> where it was like some some news article or something for from America saying that um, um, what was it? A meteor? A meteor as heavy as... Th a meteor the size of six corgis weighing the same amount as four elephants set to land hit Texas or something. It's like... The size of corgis? The weights of elephants? <laughs> Americans will go to any length to avoid using the metric system was the comment on that article. Uh, all right, let's see. Yeah, so I'm thinking that kind of painterly bushes with a backdrop. So this would have to be painted green then to match this one, but. I think that could work. And then make like a little uh, the ground is going to be lumpier and stuff, but then make uh, make it look more like props and sets. I think that could work. Do, 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 do. I don't, I guess, I guess a security guard then is just meant to be scary. <laughs> it's just meant to be like, ooh. But if you know that they're not allowed to do anything, how is that scary? Ugh, so confusing. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't like it. Let's just fix up the ground. Let's make the ground look nice. Er. Sculpting, sculpting. Do 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 Can we just make this ground a little shiny and then sculpt it? Oops, sculpt it. Sculpt it, right? Sculpt it. Subdivide. And Dino Topo. Oh, whoops. What did you say? Something about Dino Topo detected? Oh, Subdiv detected. Get out of here. Dino Topo. Yes, please. We will do relative detail. No, constant detail. We'll set that to 128. Check this out. If I turn on wireframe. Detail flood fill. Uh oh. Uh oh. Too big of an area at once? I'll let it think. Mm -hmm. Security guards definitely have power to stop or intervene here. Also, some places have people dressed in regular clothes watching for shoplifters. That's good. Uh, Canada, Canada does seem to be sort of America, but smart. So it makes sense. Yeah, I'll leave again. <laughs> Just when you got back. No, it was because I clicked the big button that makes many, many tiny details happen all over this floor. That wasn't smart. Let's just let it think. I think it'll do it if I just let it think. Mm -mm. Let's just let's just check on my package instead. 
57 minutes. We are experiencing significant delays due to weather. Okay. Yeah, we had uh, about one centimeter of snow today. Which is always fun as a start to April. Uh-oh. Blender, please. Blender, please come back. Oh, hey. Whoa. Yeah, see this? This, this is why it took a while. Control Z. Isn't it spring? You'd think. Okay. I guess it's the it's it's like the last the last hurrah of uh, winter. Winter usually gets like one real good last push in where where it just inexplicably it just gets winter for like two days. So hopefully that was it. Um, I just refer to it as like April Fool's weather because it's like the weather is like, hey, you thought it was going to be spring. No. And then just fools you with a bit of no anyway uh sculpting so let's get ourselves some rock and stuff some rock and stuff where's my stuff wait i see my rock oh rock and stuff yes please let's get some rock and stuff i want not that one wait not damage where's my Wood, 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 wood. Wood folds fabrics. I guess I didn't load it. I mean, this works too. Do 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 do. Okay. Painting time. Do 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 do. Yeah. The, it's the it's the global warming it's coming it's coming it's coming lumpy it's too lumpy um is this what i want to do no i want to do, 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 do i want to ride my bicycle i want to ride my bike stroke I want to stroke it. I want to airbrush, I think. Yeah. Airbrush with airbrush with jetter. Point one. Is that a balloon? Stroke with jitter. Okay, more jitter, please. Point five. Well, not... No, no. No, no, no. Point one. That's a balloon. Oh, I know that. Okay. Is that good? Zero. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! Ooh, that's more like it. Okay. Do, 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 do. That works. Now we can start lumping the ground all over the place. Too much. <laughs> Let's just get lumpy, y'all. Check out these lumps. These lumps. These lovely, luscious lumps. Check them out.
So I just want to like randomize it, but I want to keep this bit where you're walking kind of flat. Uh, and then just, I'm going to bulk it up first and then I'll go back in with pebbles and stuff, add like deets. Sweet little de deets. Mysterious deets. Mr. Deets. Lump it louder. Just lump it louder. Good. Lumpy, nice, nice and lumpy. Get some good lumps in here. Get some some texture, some some good some good little lumps. Cool. Lump, lump, lump. Okay. Too much. I'm encroaching too much on the walking bit. Lump, 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 lump. Lump, 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 lump. Lump, 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 lump. Lump, 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 lump. Lump, lump. Lump, 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 lump. Lump, 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 lump. Lump, lump. Good. It's pretty lumpy. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Lump, lump. Whoops, lump. Uh, okay, that's nice and lumpy. Lump, lump. Good. Cool. Lump, 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 lump. Cool. So now, let's try one of these new brushes. The ones that are like make holes and stuff and cracks and stuff. It looks so cool and stuff. What about this one and stuff? I think I just like... Oh, look at that, just made a crater. Or a mound. And they call it a mound. Cool. Do, do, do. Oh, someone's been digging their way out or in. Uh, what else? Cracks? Cool. I don't want to make it too tight, too detailed. At least not yet. Just big, big deets like this work. Work fine. For now. Big deets. It looks a little too poopy, doesn't it? The ground looks very poo. It's like really bad poo. Like manure. Mm, how about this one? I'm have to change the color. Ooh. It looks like it would smell really bad. Wait, can I set this to Z? So the airbrush. Oh, okay. I don't really get these sculpting settings. So I'm just gonna like wing it. Cool enough. I just wanna get like one, one decent clear view of this of this of this set because I feel like I still haven't decided on the art style <laughs> if it's like cartoony or if it's because these are are sculpted kind of real e so they don't really look like props maybe hmm. okay we have a we have a fine enough ground. Let's see. Kind of works. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do.
Let's just make it look like something first. And then we can decide. I'm going to add a noise texture to this ground just to get that fine, those fine deets. So I'm going to add noise into a normal map. Uh, like that and then bring that like way down do, 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 do. there so that we get like <clears throat> uh, it's hard to tell we get like a decent there you go get like a noise pattern just for all of this the fine dirt dirt so oh whoops just get something going it's not it's not the worst there you go that's better Now, is this, <clears throat> is this a better or worse look? Making everything 3D-ified with depth of field and fog and stuff. I think I <clears throat> would prefer this. If, it, if everything is like properly shaded and has textures and stuff. And again, it could also be a, a mixture. Yeah, grass patches. <coughs> yeah, I think little little stuff like that, like grass patches and like, like I said, the foreground stuff with like a, another bush tombstone sticking up in front of the, the characters and then like some hanging down uh, leaves or branch dead branches stuff like that like little details to make it feel more like there's depth to it i think could help quite a bit um i think because i don't want it to look real like photo real i don't want it to look like it's outside because then it's just gonna look weird when you have this set in the background it's like wait what is this real mud or is this a real dirt patch but then why is this fake but you know uh, or or we lean fully into the completely just stage and we could make the floor like a wooden stage floor and the grave, the piles of graves, dirt, the, the piles of dirt could be like sandbags just sort of stacked and like lean into the fact that this is supposed to look like a school stage play. Hmm. Because I think as it is now, this this mixture of stuff feels like it's too in between. Like it's trying to be both real and fake. And I'm like, mm, I, I, mm, pick a path. Yeah, make it just all look like theater sets. That could be could be good. Then, then there could even be like the backdrop. I could even lean into it even heavierly and for like things like the, the sky with clouds on, have two rolls either side of the screen and then have a physical actual canvas background on two rolls like, like old, old school where they crank it so it like 
it's like a conveyor belt up upright so it just goes back background just goes around and around and around I like this idea I like that theme yeah I think that'll be cuter clouds hanging on strings yeah I was gonna hang the moon on, on on a string as it is but we could lean more into that and and make everything feel like a physical set I think that'd be f more fun in the end even though even though some of this stuff like some of this stuff might have to change a little bit I think in the in the grand scheme of things it'll be cooler it always looks a lot more cool when you go out of the camera and you're like whoa whoa look at this whoa whoa, swish, whoa, 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 whoa. It always looks a lot more cooler from from outside <clears throat> okay i think we can't stream for too much longer because i don't know if you can tell but i'm kind of losing my voice okay let's go here I'm gonna I'm not gonna delete this ground but I'll say real ground I'll just hide it and we'll just put in a floor for now make it a stage do 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 So, okay, so let's, yeah, let's align everything to this floor then. I'm just going to thicken it so that I can see it from the side. Uh, let's see. So deform, no, generate, solidify. Sideways, I'm going to place everything on the ground. See, these can still be wonky. They just need to be grounded I guess I should do this where are we there eh oh Sometimes I forget what I have done and I surprise myself. Okay. Save zero. Yeah. The only thing now is maybe we still cheat the floor slightly and make it slanted so that it faces camera more. Like even if even if if we're looking at it like this from the camera's point of view. Even though technically it's flat now, we could just sort of ew, give it a bit of an angle just so that from our point of view, we see more of it. From our point of view, we see more bites. As long as there's like a slot for characters to walk in between. We have to have a clear space sort of here for people to walk because the characters are going to be flat planes no matter what. I I know that for a fact that I want I want the Paper Mario vibe of a 3D world with flat characters. Uh, so that works. And then to like bulk up this space, I can just make sandbags. I could even make soft body simulation sandbags and just like flop them onto the set with physics. That'd be fun. Uh, like just for myself, for my own amusement. For now though, this'll do. Mexico! Do, 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 do,
So if this is the floor, uh, shader editor, should we, should we be a little cheeky? Oh, actually, wait, let me try something. We could be a little cheeky and use AI to make a floor texture, like a wood texture. Although I do still have some, so we can might as well just use those. Image, open. In my, no, no, in my textures. Old wood planks. I mean, that sounds pretty fitting. What else do I have? Painted, plywood. Nah. Nah. Dark, rich wood. Nah. Cardboard. Let's just try old wood planks. Well, okay, so that's bad, but like, what if it's, what if we make it better? Like that, and then, ooh, or, Yeah, they should be, whoops, they should be lengthwise. I mean, it's kind of bad, but it's not bad. What if, oh, okay, that's bad. <laughs> what if, acceptable. That looks like an old scene, an, uh, an old stage. Uh, so let's do duplicate, duplicate. We'll bring in the, let's see, what is this? Roughness and normal. And, and, and normal. No, I don't even know what that one does. Why is that? the default normal color oops to normal non color why why do, why do you set normal maps to non color when they're clearly colorful they're like all purple and stuff That's wood for sure. Well, now this is some shiny ass wood. Shiny ass wood. Well, calm down. Kind of good? Kind of bad? Whoa! Okay, kind of bad for sure. I wanna like take down some of these highlights. They're so hot. Why are they so hot? Oh. Okay, good. Do do bot wood. That sounds like it could be like a an old president or senator or something like Longbottom Senator Botwood but it's spelled like B-U-T-T-E W-O-O-D it's like butt but Botwood tis I Officer Botwood Okay, so mm. hmm. why don't I like it though? Like, why is it bad? 0.5. Ugh.
Do 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 do. Yeah. What would? It could totally work. If Longbottom is a name, then any any other name featuring a tushy is fair game. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, subdivision, subdivision surface, and then I want to see if it makes things look cooler if I plug in a displacement map. This song always makes me want to really, really play Mario 64. But this level that this song is from is like the worst level. It's the water level. Aye! Okay, well, that's not great. So, um, um, uh, 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 why? Why? Oh no. Why? Where's my floor? Why? Why? Why you do that? Height. By floor. Scale point one. Ugh. Okay, so it is working. It's just bad. Let me see. If I subdiv more, 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 more. Okay. Do 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 do. Do, do, do. Okay. Yeah, now we get like an actual rough surface. That's good. Boink. Okay, sorry, 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 blender, sorry, 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 when it comes to making it feel like a stage. And then if I just chuck a bunch of bags and stuff onto this. Okay, that's a little bit too lumpy, maybe. Too lumpy. Three lumpy, five me. Two is fine. Do, 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 do. Good. Yeah, I think that'll be good. So with, with a couple of like bushes in the foreground, as an example, like. Like if these were also here, but like small and less of them. <laughs> you know, and then and then more gravestones with bags and stuff. And then we can also have uh, um, rim lights behind the trees and stuff. Yeah, this, that, that'll be good. Because then since it's on a stage anyway, it's a lot that you don't really have to motivate. Like, where does the light come from? Because it's a, pfft. who cares? It's a set. <laughs> it's just, it's not there to come from a source. It's just there to look good.
Do 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 Yeah. I just remember there's someone with the last name Booty. His name is literally General Booty. General Booty. General Booty. That can't be. That can't be an easy time in like military school. I feel like military people, I mean, I've never been, clearly. <laughs> I feel like they might haze each other a little bit, though. Whoa. I feel like they might... There might be a, a risk that someone might make fun of someone with the last name... Booty. Cool. Uh, we can set that to two hundred. That's pretty good. Save. So something, something like this, and then make it look more. Um, like a detailed, obviously, with more stuff. I think that could be cool. Yeah, there's also a voice actor with the last name Butts. <laughs> there's, there's a, there's a, there's a producer or something? It's produ production? Production assistant? Producer? No, it's a producer, I think. There's a producer called Fred Fox. <laughs> Which is also pretty good. Um, right, anyway. Let's just... Zero these things out. All oh, right, of course. Eh, it's okay. I feel like some names. <laughs> I like. I know that some names you can't name your kid and stuff because it would be cruel to the kid, which I think is good. But I feel like maybe sometimes. Some people should just be kind of, maybe advised, offered, like we could deal with a name change for you <laughs> if you want, a pity name change. Kind of surprised how easy it is to change your name, though. At least here, I thought for sure that it would be like it would require more litigation. I suppose more, more legislation, more people approving it. But no, nope. you just go and go online and just say, "Hey, change my thing," and then boop, and then they're done. What if I was, like, a criminal? I guess they would see that then, I suppose. It is the... It is the police that do it. Anyway. <laughs> that works. His full name is General Axel Booty. That's a good name. I wouldn't be... I wouldn't... I wouldn't mind be having Booty as a last name. I mean, if anything, it's it's for sure a pretty fun icebreaker. Or a pickup line. Like like
like, hey, nice booty. Excuse me? No, I'm booty. I'm nice and I'm booty. Hello? How do you do? <laughs> you produce your ID. It does sound like a porn name. That's true. It sounds like a porn actor. <laughs> Yeah, Holden, Holden, Holden to Dix is a prolific thief. You know what? I feel like that's almost like a, almost like a free pass. I can see your life is hard enough. Take it. Take it. Holden to Dix. Yeah. Let's let's leave it at that for now. Uh Panda Lover, hello as well. Welcome. Welcome. Do you join us at the end though? We have been going for five and a half hours now. Um but I think that'll be it for now. Because I feel like I should go have uh, dinner. And also, past this point for this level, I kind of need to just model a bunch of knickknacks, like sandbags and some rigging for, for like things to hang off of, like ropes and stuff. And I need to fix this gravestone so that it isn't so ridgy. So it's a lot of like little, little, little stuff that I gotta do, which is boring. So I won't subject you to that boring stuff. <laughs> what I will do though is, can I, can I just, this bit. I'm gonna take this bit and I'm gonna make it green and you you can't stop me fantastic save it is pretty good already yeah i mean it's decent it, it shows promise i i think i just need to decide on a look like how do i want the actual final level to look and if i can decide on a style visually that I think looks appealing and also not cheap because currently I feel like it looks a little cheap currently I feel like it looks like Babby's first 3d scene uh, <laughs> and I wanted to like have a more interesting art style I guess so I'll have to decide on that and, and, and figure out what I want it to look like if I want it to be more sketchy more like this more like this, like I tried with this, where it's like more, more drawn. Or if I want it to be 3D or, I haven't decided. It could be cool to have it drawn like this, but in color. And then when things are out of focus, they get more or less messy, like Spider-Verse. But I don't know. Yeah, this is, I, w I was, this is what I was doing last night, I think. I was playing around with uh, Blender's filters and different line art effects for 3d models so these are just two flat planes like the tree and bushes and this is a full 3d object just to see how it looks kind of works it would it would be if, if 
if the game should look like this, then it would have to be very clear what is game objects and what is foreground and background, though. Like, the, the foreground and background elements would have to be very... Maybe just fainter, like, not as black in this case, like, not as contrasty as the main game elements. Because I like this look. I think this is the sketchy look. It's a cool look for 3D stuff. And it stands out a little bit. We'll see. I have to experiment with it and decide. But uh, for now, so far so good. We have, we have a level. We have a layout for a level. We have our basic setup for one of the levels for the game. And it looks... Promising as a start. I just need to decide which way to go with it. Real or not real. Instead of both. For now, it is the end. I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna go pee. Yeah, I'm gonna have dinner before 11 p.m. Which is rare. Um, and uh, I'll see you on Friday for Free Mode Friday. Free Mode Friday on Friday. We'll, we'll start as normal, I think. Um, but... I will probably change the schedule for next week. Okay, so Friday, yeah, Friday I might be late, might not, because I do have epilation on Friday at 1. So depending on if I make it home in time. Um, but after this week, uh, like next week and on I think I might move the week streams to earlier like this one uh, I'll, I'll update the schedule and stuff so this week out until after movie night we'll just keep normal schedule from now on but next starting next week I don't have a bunch of appointments and stuff so I think uh, I can do early streams then mm. Ugh, this week is awful <laughs> i had uh, doctors yesterday haircut today tomorrow i'm free then i have two appointments on friday before stream Oy. anyway we had a stream we talked some talks yeah love the sketch style i think i think the sketch style might be the way to go it it, it will look this looks nicer as a 3D image, but I think the other will be more interesting, more cool, more unique, more standout, maybe. Plus, if I'm doing it 2D layers anyway, or... Yeah, it's too much outside time. <laughs> Let me be alone at home. <laughs> That's where I want to be. Anyway, I'm going to go. Uh, since it's so early, I'll probably stream some stuff on the other channel if you just want a background noise, but um, what did we see? For movie night, we started, uh, we're, we're doing Lord of the Rings again. So we watched Lord of the Rings 1. So it'll be Lord of the Rings 2 on Sunday and Lord of the Rings 3 next Sunday. For now though, it is the end. So thank you for hanging out and goodbye. See you Friday for emotes. Free free mode Friday. Farewell. Let's see if the credits work. Credits? There's still that one flicker frame I gotta fix. Naughty list! There it goes. See you next time.